yeah, so we're obviously we're going to switch over to uh, the Summer Game Fest here in a sec, but we, we got a we timer got a going, going, so we're, yeah. We're, 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 yeah. Maybe five minutes we'll yeah, turn yeah. over there. So, um, it's at seven right now. The other day, Jeff Keeley made like a, I think like an Instagram live video or something, uh, and he has decon- deconfirmed, so this is everything he's confirmed won't be at this. Okay. Uh, GTA 6, Kingdom Hearts 4, mm-hmm. Judas, whatever that is, uh, Metal Gear Solid Delta, Hollow Knight Silk Song, Wolf Among Us 2, Half-Life 3, uh, No Joseph Ferris, the guy who made uh, um, uh, It Takes Two. Uh, none of the Sega Legacy titles they teased at the Game Awards, and no uh, Nintendo of any of any uh, form. All right, so that was the Summer Game Fest. Uh, <laughs> tune in Sunday. Um, Capcom, yeah, uh, has been hyping this event up. Apparently, they have more than one announcement at this show, which baffles me because the last oh, like four <laughs> Capcom pr- uh, presentations have been total ass. Well, that message that you just read off kind of concerns me a bit because uh, he did list off a lot of things that I've been excited to get updates about, like any um, uh, any direct Nintendo IP would mm. be hyped to hear about. GTA 6 would be hyped to hear about. Yeah, I wasn't but expecting we already GTA know, 6. Right, but yeah. We, we already know cool. that game's slated for, what, like December 2025 or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still a ways out. So, uh, that's... Uh, SCS session. A, a single, single camera, camera... Sexy session. Stream. Single camera stream session. Sexy. A sexy... Camera. Camera... Doesn't Nintendo have its own conference though, right? So, I mean, sort of. It, yeah. They, 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 uh, Nintendo. I hate the way Nintendo does it because the way Nintendo does it is they're like, oh, the chat is like, oh, that doesn't matter because we're about to be on a different screen. Right. Uh, Want to move the chat layer above the camera layer? I was just commenting <laughs> on that. It's gonna, it's gonna be fixed in the next screen. Uh, and if it's not, I'll fix it. But it doesn't matter for, uh, for, for. I mean, it's, it's not that big a deal. We're only gonna be here for a few more minutes. We are gonna head over to, um, the actual camera now. Okay. If you want. Um, yeah, let me do that. Um, this? Hell yeah. Somebody say something in chat so we know that it's, uh, it's okay. Oh, there's... Oh, is there no there chat? There is no chat. Hold oh, on. Oh, we Give should... Well, sec. hold on, yeah. Why is there no chat? That's weird. Um... We're not that important that you guys can't talk to us while we're chat. looking at shit. Add chat. Yes. Hell chat yeah. Can be re- ca- chat can be big, and chat can be right above us. Hell yeah. There we go. And then, um, looks great. Yeah, thank you. And then the alert box should also be moved up. There we go. Where are you? Right there, too. That's good. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I thought it was over here. Yeah. Nobody has any context for what we're talking about. Um, you want to tell people. people Hold on, let's make sure people can hear. Oh, sure. Let us know. Well, yeah, I can see. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so, um, um, yeah, so we, I, I kind of figured, there was a couple things that he mentioned that I was like, I kind of figured we weren't going to hear anything about it, but Capcom is exciting, because they, I, I don't know yeah. what they could possibly bring. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention real quick is that there's been quite a few, uh, rumors, and that's all they are, um, about a Spyro 4 happening sometime soon. So, uh, I have a bit of, uh, yes, um, let's talk about it. Uh, uh, let's call it like a mini game. Why did it mute? Oh, I was still on the ice thing. Uh, okay, that's fixed. Um, so recently I ordered a product from Manscaped. I needed a, uh, a, a nose hair trimmer and it came and I used it and it's great. Um, what I did not know is that they signed me up for a, uh, like a box service. Like a, you know, you give us X dollars a month, we'll send you a box of random stuff. They must just have something in there like you know, their user, uh, what do you call that, the end user license agreement yeah, 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 yeah. where you, uh, you like, automatically sign up for it. Um, long story short, 
I canceled that and they gave me my money back graciously. But I do have the one box of stuff they sent me, um, which I didn't want, just to be clear, just to uh, be completely clear about that. So this box had two things in it. One was a replacement for the nose head trimmer I did buy. Very nice. Very cool. And the other thing is called Crop Reviver. It's, uh, it's, it's testicle air freshener. Uh, it's called Crop Reviver Refreshing Ball Toner Advanced Groin Care. And here's what we're going to do. Because uh, Thunder and Lightning are curious. Uh, I'm not going to, I want to be very clear, apply this on camera. I have it on to stick um, around to find out so what we're gonna do and i, I thought about this th this mini game has rules if there is three trailers in a row that either of us don't care about even a little or if there is a demo that goes on for longer than 10 minutes <laughs> we are going to bust out the uh i didn't know about that crop reviver ball toner um, the directions are very confusing because it says directions for any time pick me up, squeeze your, uh, spritz your goods once or twice. But then the warning it says only use as directed. But you just told me I can't do whatever the fuck I want. The the word spritz I genuinely don't know what this is. I think it might be like make it smell good. That's what the word spritz implies. But like it says care. It says advanced growing care. So I don't know what I don't know. It it might just smell good. Um, Interesting. But it, it might also be like... I am excited to potentially find out what the deal with that is. Because it doesn't say, like, exfoliates for smoother... Like, it literally just says, like, refreshes. Spritz? For a pick-me-up. Maybe it's got drugs in it. So toner, like, you use it on your face? Is that for skin? Yeah, that's the thing. It's ca it said it's called ball toner. So is this... So I can... I can get a... It actually says ball toner on it. Yeah. Cross reviving, refreshing ball toner. Ball toner is like the... Oh, my the, God. It's like... Because we've all, we've, you know, we've all used shampoo or soap before. It says crop reviver, and then underneath it, it's like where the word shampoo would be, you know? Like if it's like short plus extra care or whatatever, and then underneath it's like it says shampoo. So this qualifier is like, oh, it's ball toner, just in case you were wondering. It's like, what is that? <laughs> so the word toner... So it's going to tone it. It's going to... Yeah, it's going to... They got a nice workout. Oh, 10 seconds. All right, enough ball talk for now. For now, Jeff. Yeah. This is, this is all up to you. Better be the best summer Jeff best we've ever seen. Well, I've heard of anything kind of some viewers trying to fence and anything flashing lights. Oh, actually. Okay. Please welcome to the stage the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff. Keely! No, 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 Show some goddamn decorum. Put decorum. Put some respect on his name. Hello, everybody. Welcome yeah, to yeah. Summer Game Fest 2024. You ready to see some video games? I, yes, I am, Jeff. <laughs> we are so oh, yeah. thrilled to be here with you, well, and this is a showcase of what's loud, next for games loud, live yeah, from the YouTube theater no, here no in problem. L.A. Now, if you're watching this show, first of all, welcome. I know everyone around the world is joining us for this special moment. And I know if you watch this show, you don't just play games. Oh. Games you deeply care about I mean, this art form yeah. and the health of this industry. The good news is that we have a lot of amazing games to show you from creators around the world over the next two hours. Test, test, test. But let's also face it, this has been a tumultuous and difficult year with company layoffs and studio closures. Let us know about that. Is about 20% louder than you. Okay, but then I think I just But there's also something else it. happening. Our industry is evolving and changing. And thanks we'll to digital know. distribution, yeah. Yeah, smaller still bad, teams and new creators are finding incredible success. Take a look at this list from Game Discover of the top 10 best-selling new games on Steam <laughs> so Shot far roulette? this year. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Two of them are considered, you know, big oh, company games, there. but the other eight Manor come Lords. from indie, yeah. mid-sized teams That's or better. solo That's developers. Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. I look at this list. 
it's pretty cool, right? And I get Puck inspired. Puckshot roulette is so crazy to me. New it's, ideas, it's a game that you new teams, play and once. smaller creators and like can a half and hour will game, break through. Half hour long game, it's maybe. It's a reminder to big okay. companies. It costs like two, bo- two dollars, which I guess is right. Why it's, because today it's a good game, which I didn't expect to see. There are many paths to right. sustainability and success, and that's what makes Dude, this like industry so so great. I don't know. Velvet, like blue velvet. Yeah, I don't know. And you'll see that reflected in the show today because over the next two hours. We'll have big franchises on you, stage Jeff. like Star Wars, I was Batman, unsure. and Harry Potter, Ooh, but Star also Wars, smaller titles, Potter. including a few games my, made my, by single my individuals. My, yeah, and my nightmare creators, blunt rotation. Why, why is Pac-Man going to be here? Because we think why is Harry this Potter platform is important no. as a way to show Namco, you new things right. that you might not even know about. So when you see a game that piques your interest, Please wish list it, or even better, send it to a friend and get them excited. I am, I am still That's how we like, together can grow the gaming community. I'll, and we I'm are excited do that as the next guy about the next two hours. We have I'm a lot kind of games out to show you. More gameplay plus, Day of the Devs directly after with the even more indie was titles. Just a I'm sure it'll be so good. Should we get to the games? You know, Jeff, you asked us twice. <laughs> all right, it all begins right now. Here's okay. our first Start announcement. Not trust you. Okay. All right. Cuts right back to him. Next. Uh, hey, look, this is a oh. hot dog guy auditioning for the, um, ooh, the lead in unannounced action game. Wow. We see you as more of a sidekick. Oh, sure. I get that a lot, but uh, check out my range. Can we turn it up on our end? Mm. Um, uh, no. Okay. Empathy. Um, oh, hilarity. <laughs> this guy. Straight. Okay. Oh. And what game is this anyway? Oh. Hey, I'm here. Oh, it's just like it's Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, is it really? Hey, need costume. But in Lego? Give me one of those. Ooh, is this just like Lego video game the game? Sorry, gotta go. Le- Lego game the video 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 that games the Lego game. Guy. You know what I'm trying to say. I think so. An amazing video game lead. Thunderjaw went mad and is tearing through the valley. Don't worry. I'll bring it down. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I love it. Yeah, right in the eye. And cut fire attack. Okay, oh, so no when when I'm here. Theorizing is that the title of this game is not yourself. Horizon Zero Dawn Lego. Friends, We're about to see uh, right. some other friendly hero hunting you know, with PlayStation IP. And we're looking at like PlayStation All Stars Lego or something. I, I would Explore. like that better than wow. we just made a, a Lego version of a video yeah. game. Yeah, that already that's a little weird, right? Uh, I, yeah, that's where my head's at. And, and unfortunately, you know it's really feeling like that might be the case. Well, let's show us another IP right now. Let's see here. Just a classic Lego. Hey, Roy, the Thunder Jaw's back. Oh, right, the Thunder Jaw. Definitely has some Star Wars. Ooh, Lego Star one. Wars. Five. Here we go. Wait, hey. you could build a city? Did I see? Is that what we saw? I don't know. It sounds like you could customize an amusement park. Yeah. Possibly. They finally built it. Oh, you want mustard on that? Oh wow, it really is just Lego wow. Horizon. Okay, that's so weird. That's yeah. such a weird choice. Honestly, when they said Harry Potter and they showed Lego immediately, I thought they were gonna make like they did with Star Wars, make just make put all of them on there one. There you game. go. Wasn't Unless that fun? That was Lego Horizon no. Adventures coming out later this year the for PlayStation, but also day one on PC yeah. and Nintendo Switch. It's a playful, but lighthearted the, you know, story the, uh, inspired by the world IPs of Horizon designed with two-player action in no mind, supporting couch and online co-op. No. All right, now we're going to completely a, shift the tone to the no, next he actually game just said from Torn Switch Banner Studios, PC. developers behind sure. Chivalry 2. For their next project, <laughs> so they are proud to announce Somebody No call me More out if Room wrong, in Hell 2, the sequel to the 2011 award-winning Source okay. mod. Eight players start separate in the dark, and it's up to you to find your friends and survive with permadeath. Here is the first look. I missed the title of what he's showing off. Uh, with the, yeah, there's a car forward. It's, uh, it's dark. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. Hmm. Ooh. Just gonna that guy, I guess. That, w- that wasn't a good jump scare. Hello. I'm gonna say it. I'm sick of zombie games. <laughs> I I would I would agree with you with the asterisk being unless it's Resident Evil. 
Because I feel like I Resident even Evil. Consider, yes, yes. That's that's beyond. I don't put it in the same grouping. Yeah. But I hear what you're saying. No, this, the footage we're looking at now is very like, oh yep, it's a zombie game, but Red Red and Evil gets a pass. Yeah. But like I'm looking at this, and I feel like I've seen the same permadeath. Is it just called permadeath? Oh no, that's a <laughs> that's a feature. I see. I've seen. This. Yeah. That's one. This is that is one. Two more. Two more. So what did I say? The, the US seven days to die updated console version cowards. Yes. I don't think no more room in hell too. Yeah, sure. Um, did the powers that be even exist to do that? I like don't isn't think it so. a isn't it a telltale? Telling this Halloween thing? looks really, yeah, I don't really think intense. All right. To introduce our next game, please join me in welcoming someone who I've known for over a decade. She's been a huge fan of some of our reveals like Street Fighter Six a few years ago and of course Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth last year when she was sitting in the audience. Well, this year, she's joining us on stage. We're thrilled to have her with us. Please welcome Curious Joy. Oh. Like, Curious Joy's sister? No, the, she's a live streamer. Oh. Thank you, Jeff. Hi, everyone. I am so excited to be here at Summer Hello. Game Fest. I'm here with you today to share some even more super fun trailers. So let's get straight to another world premiere. This is a highly anticipated okay. game from I love the beloved franchise. Much as the next Let's dude. take a look. Why did he bring out another person I just to know. say, "Here's a trailer"? As young witches and wizards, I think just to get we all dream of soaring through the sky like our favorite heroes. Harry Potter. Yeah. Oh, it's the guy. When it comes to Quidditch, it is. we've it's all the wondered. Of Do I have what it takes to be the next Quidditch star? Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, is it just a Quidditch game? Ooh, that might be cool. Yeah. To beat your toughest yeah, opponent. There was Depends on the game. Depends highly on how out of game. True. This could be, this could be fire on the Oh, your dreams at any is that price. that was a game? That was a, that was a cinematic shot. To seek glory for your team. This no might challenge is too great. Be a uh, no dream is too big. Uh, so ask yourself. Hard take. Do like, you have what it takes? I don't want. What's Do the you have the soccer the car game? I always forget Rocket League. I don't want. I don't want Rocket League. Footage. No. Um. No, yeah, it really depends on how, like, video gaming it is, I yeah. think. No hate towards Rocket League, by the way. I just, I don't, like... Quidditch Champions. Yeah, so there was a Quidditch game on I don't PS2. Think it would um, it's well. really rare. Um, uh, hey, that's cool. It got a date right away. Nice. Um, Ooh, no gameplay, That's play, Harry though. Potter Quidditch Champions We're not done launching it. worldwide I would love on to September see some 3rd for consoles and PC. Now we move from the Potterverse nope, okay. to a brand new world. It hails okay. from a single developer, Gavin Eisenbeis, up in Seattle, who has been making games all by himself for a decade. His last title, Choo Choo Charles, was a fan favorite, and oh. he showed me this next game a few months ago, and I really wanted to debut it here. Okay. Get ready to backstab, race, or cooperate with up to 20 of so your Choo friends. So Choo Choo Charles is that in game I'm sure you saw. It was very uh, viral, where uh, um, the train was the villain. It was a horror game, and you were haunted by, like, a scary choo-choo train. Okay. There's, that was a naked koala bear. Yeah, that was a naked whatever. These things are, oh, God, they're beating the shit out of the cops. For the spoon. They killed that guy. Oh, they? I love this so far. Is, if this is gameplay. Um, oh, my <laughs> God, it totally is. Oh, I'm loving this. Wait, is this, like... Ooh. Is this, like... Like, I'm thinking maybe like there's a team playing as the cops. Oh, that would be interesting. Oh, maybe. I think you. I that would be super cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, maybe not. Though. Well, yeah. I, you thought the cops were looking on the monitor, right? Mm. That would have been super cool. I don't think that's what we're seeing. So, what, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously it's a prison break game. It seems like a matchmaking prison break game. I'm trying to wonder, I'm trying to see, like, the fail state. Like, how do you lose this? Because so far it's been pretty, like, right. Like, the, the <laughs> perfect one. The, the, yeah, exactly, exactly. The, the little goobers have been in uh, complete control of. Uh, oh, now good. they're shooting at each other, though. Uh, that made it very. Oh, I th it was an accident, I think. Oh. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. This is like after the game. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay, that got weird. Puff bust. Premier 2025, also... maybe, I don't know, to be honest, is what it said. That's a fun one, Fair. right? You and remember, what? that's, that's all made by one <laughs> It literally person. says, I think Gavin. So that's glad that's to have so that so on funny. the stage. <laughs> Um, All right. See, next one of this year's most Exclu anticipated uh, games is Star Wars oh, Outlaws coming out on um, August 30th oh. from Ubisoft. Uh, and I appreciate that for games. the solo the developer. If it was Capcom who was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying, like, fuck off. On Monday but, yeah. at 12 p.m. So this Pacific, game you'll get to see a full gameplay good. showcase yeah, during Ubisoft's forward this. event streaming as part of the continuing Summer Game That's Fest event. Like but right now, we've got an exclusive new glimpse at the game. I think it's just a small taste of what's to come on the stage. A friend needs a little something stolen. Yeah, so it looks like um let's raise the stakes, shall we? Oh, oh. That, was, uh, that was straight up young Lando, yeah. Not young, but younger than like that this case was during uh yeah. the original trilogy, obviously. I would um, love it and I don't think that this is gonna be the case, but I would love it if this game was about the crime syndicate. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. We should get moving. They, 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 they've shown off this game before. I'm pretty okay. sure you're, you're playing as an outlaw, right? So I think you're playing as like a Han Solo like. Tune into Ubisoft. Oh, a trailer for another, another. Okay. Uh, they've already shown. Thank you can go find Lando like there. ten plus so minutes. Great. And by the way, I just noticed that game. Okay. Everything showing but, um, so far, I think is going to be. You it, know, they said out, it's uh, going you know, to be this year. Cuff bus. I'm not quite sure, but it's like it's so cool in the way that stuff you're on a planet. Get you get in your ship. Here. All right. Well, you fly moving back to smaller teams a few weeks ago, I had a chance to play through this next game. I have to say, Last Jedi style loading spectacular. Never. Which are fine in a game like Last Jedi. Creators of the game award winning game Grease. It chronicles the story of Alba, a woman bound to a curious. Wolf Cup. I don't Wouldn't know if you your I first I wouldn't say GTA. I'd say more like um, Star Wars, like Horizon Zero Dawn, but like okay. maybe more like mission focused. Are you about to see a 2D platform? Probably from the makers of Bree, so probably. This is straight up just Bree 2. Oh, also, sorry. Uh, yeah. Oh no! Honestly, I think he warned me about that too. And I was like, eh. Yeah, no worries. It works. Yeah. Most important thing. Oh, by the way, you—we didn't even talk about this. Got the stream here. We got the stream labs up here. Like, we—we we don't have to. Oh no! This is perfect. Last time we did this, we had to like oh, minimize yeah, and. Nice. Sure the, yeah. This was yeah. Getting a second monitor. Such a quality of life. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things where I was like, yeah, I mean, it'll help, but is it really going to make that much of a difference? It really did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is just free, too. I believe I, I know nothing about uh, the first one. Ooh, the wolf got bigger. Ooh, the wolf crew. Oh, the wolf the antlers. Is, yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Trust me, that game is such a true work Wait, of art, especially when you get a third the monitor. Combat, it's it like tons of fun I, to this play, might be and it there's for much more coming later today Although in I was Revolver Direct, which will day. air directly after Day of the Devs on this same stream. So we've got lots more for you. All right, next, it's time for our next game announcement. Okay. I appreciate the ambiguity. Study the power. Oh, it's Jesus. It's the two, the two feet is when I was holding you or whatever. Our architects of fate. You know what I mean? Work in these walls The Jesus thing where he's like, two footsteps on a beach. And Let when there was one pair of footsteps is when I was prepare. carrying you. Oh. Of the last Never mind. It wasn't funny. I, yeah. I think I know. Let me not then die uh, um, ingloriously. And without a struggle. Here's what is literally happening, a cinematic trailer for what, however, I don't know, but right. it kind of First seems like great thing. it could be anything at this point, but I'm liking what I'm I'm liking what I'm seeing. Each of us a lot of different we're like going through history. Life. But we're also Until going through end. size play. You see this? Mm. Like he's bigger than they were and they're now we're 
This is Fire crazy. Striker says civilization question mark. Possibly. This is a Oh, is that what we're doing? We're going oh we're advancing in time. This might be civilization. Your name is if this is Sim 7, that would be pretty nice. Oh yeah, now we're in modern day. Now we're in, in, space? in space. This is civilization so for sure. If not, it's a civilization. Be. You know, knock off. Sid Meier, Sid 7. Did you awesome. See how the yes, light, I that did. Yeah, cool. that's coming 2025. Hell yeah. I don't know if that's what pe fans of Civ want, but I'll take it. Civ hello, 6 was... Everyone. Oh, it's hello, Sid Meier. Oh my god, Sid Meier's a real dude. Team, we are <laughs> I didn't think he was like... A real dude who was still with us who actually worked on the game. PC um, Civ 6 is completely Next narrated year. by... Uh, I'm in awe of the amazing team oh, that has cool. brought us to this moment. To the, like, but we also have to thank you, he die, our incredible no, fans around the world, for your overwhelming he's support of this franchise for over 30 years. Is, uh, we can't wait to share more, the, and we hope the, you'll the, join the us later this Sean summer doing for the, the game full every reveal time you get a new, of Civilization uh, technology. There's like a blurb the meantime, about it, and rather than you reading civilized. it, he reads it to you. Oh, okay. Because there's not really a story in Civilization uh, 7. Sperm. I, yeah, right? Foot. Weird foot. Oh, is this Black Wukong? The parachute. I think it's Black Wukong. This, um. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go to the until, until I absolutely know it's the, the game I'm talking about. problem is that the developers of this game basically got on Twitter and were like, uh, our video game isn't for women, just like all video games aren't. If you're a woman, don't buy our game. Oh. Just like straight up, like, just the craziest take <laughs> about women in gaming. Okay. Um, so it's a little bit of a, like, it still looks good, but like, do I really want to buy? That's a meta? Did fucking Facebook make this game? No, Facebook has a, um... Uh, VR, Meta, Meta Quest is a VR uh, oh, headset. Okay, I didn't know that. So, yeah, yeah, so it's probably not made by them, but it's probably published by them. Um, it's called Asgard's Wrath 2, the sequel to my favorite video game, Asgard's Wrath. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what they were on about. Uh, Reaching heaven it's just one of those things where it's like, gift. you have a crazy opinion, just don't say it. If you want your game to sell, but right? Well, yeah. If you're, more than it wished for. if you're like, I'm Not a progress, shithead, and I'm gonna be a shithead in but public. Chaos. I guess nobody can stop you, but Every you're literally just shooting yourself in the foot if you're a game uh, developer in 2024 and, and is like, hope still isn't glimmers. it just for one gender, really? Even in the it was. It's such a. It was one of those things where I was like, oh, this is such a fucking we crazy take. This is clearly a joke, and I was like, oh, it's not a joke. There, this is. Um, this looks kind of cool. Oh, I was just... I was just gonna say, could we count this as one? Show the greatest yeah, results. we can. I would like to, one, see, I would like three. to see some stand. real gameplay, but it does... We stand Once together. human, July 9th, 2024. Okay. That's... Like, in a month. Yeah, that's very soon. What does greatness mean to you? Oh. So this doesn't count. This is a trailer. This is not... A, I mean, this is a commercial, not a trailer. Okay. So this doesn't count towards the, um, the, uh, the ball review. Towards the yeah, towards the um, ball countdown. The ball screen. You win. No console was buying. Okay. Have any of you faced tyrannids before? Only these past two was days. This is this a board game video? Uh, yeah. The numbers are endless. One of uh, one of many. I will take in. you all with me. War hands on. War hands on. Yeah. 
<laughs> we call this two. Uh, no, I'm still calling this commercial rather than. Oh, unless they're about to. Yes, we can call that too. <laughs> okay. All right. Welcome back to Summer Game Fest. Oh, uh, we've got some amazing uh, developer guests joining us throughout the show, and I'm very excited okay. to introduce our. You just first want to review. You can just do it if you want to do it. It seems like you want a brand new fantasy RPG metaphor to launch this no, 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 October. Please world. welcome the director and art designer of Persona 3, 4, and 5, Ooh. Katsura Hashino and Shikanori Sojima. Why would you be here if not to? Oh, fucking all right. <laughs> all right. All right. So we've got, we've got, uh, that was three things we couldn't give a shit about. So we are now going to review <laughs> some ball cream. Uh, he so much. He was like, that's right. The guy who made Persona 3 and 4 Thank you, and 5. And he was like, hello, I'm here to, here to announce my new game. My name is Hashino, no and I am the director it, of I guess? Metaphor. I don't know. It is a pleasure to be here with Mr. Soejiba. Let's see what it smells like. This is cream for testicles. Uh, this is a spritz for testicles. In lieu of Persona 6. This, really just cologne, bro. this Ooh, game is an RPG. Very nice. The party I would. Let's put that on everywhere. This is what I'm saying. What's stopping me from putting this on my neck? These what makes it I mean, does it allow you to fight against your enemies? It says apply topically. It says like don't put it in your stick. Holes, but it, 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 like, I don't see why you can just like... Only use as directed for external use only. For external use only. So, oh yeah, literally. I don't see why you couldn't put it on your neck or whatever. It's just, yeah, it's, it literally just smells like, I mean, external use only. It sounds like you can put it on anywhere. That's what I'm saying. Archetypes are the embodiment yeah, of power said. born That's from the will to face your fears and said. anxieties. Uh, we gave it our all to instill each and every archetype with a feeling that smells of strength really good. and uniqueness in each of their I would, designs. I would, and you know in total, people say, there will be more than 40 oh types man, what of is that? I love it. You say, game. well, it's pretty These evolved, archetypes can gain experience and even evolve. Use it, uh, Some of them can evolve into stronger uh, versions. For everybody to smell. It was either that or stop so, wearing pants. So, there you have it. That was the... Um, it is said that we all have inherited heroic virtues deep within us. Yeah, I'm sure this game is great. The guy who made Persona made a game that's not Persona. Um, we oppress. We fight. No, I think Until this was a... come out, I'm, I'm good. I think this was a perfect time. That's it. Uh, well, yeah. Too. Evil this is how flows Persona games through this work. Cutscenes are like this. Oh, I did. You yeah. have found a way uh, to wield true magic. Too. Uh, one out of ten? Yeah. Give it a rating. Oh, oh, I thought you were giving it a one out of ten. Oh, no, um, no, no. I just mean, like, what? what? I'm going to give it... Many more protectors I'm gonna give and it a followers will gather to your side. For different reasons. Remind First reason, that the it's very unclear what you do with it and what it is and what its function them. is. Two, it just smells oh, like God. any old fucking boring ass you death must clone more that has ever existed. And bring um, them together. And it gets knocked down a full point because I just simply don't want to put it on my balls. No holding back. What is your what is your one out of ten? Now you've acquired a oh, most I probably also give this six. An archetype uh, for whose the existence was only theoretical. For the lack of clarity, you like wield you said. power also, now. Also, I didn't ask yeah. for it. True. That you know what? Five out of ten. Didn't ask for it. Got it sent to my house. But you know what? Five point five out of ten. They gave me my money back. So five point five out of ten. Everyone pre-order Metaphor Re Fantasio. Uh, coming on October 14th, 2020, whatever. It's Such an honor to have Hashino and Shojima with us uh, on stage. Thank you guys, and for that deep look at the I believe you, Jeff, but if you do that shit again, designs. I swear to God. Now we're going to jump into I the swear to God. Batman he did that last Arkham time. He was like, is a meta he was like we all know you're excited about VR the new Final Fantasy game. Here's, As Batman, you I face a what new it was. threat, it was like some the bullshit. mysterious Rat King and his cultish devotees. Here's your first look at the story trailer for Batman Arkham Shadow. Batman Arkham Shadow. Okay. Oh, it's a it's a VR thing. Never mind. 
thought they were actually making <laughs> another Batman Arkham game. Let's see what the There's Batman a new does. darkness overtaking Gotham, driving the city mad. Yeah, so that's straight up not Kevin Conroy. The only I light left. I wonder if they got like a new guy or if they're streets. still doing that. Oh, it's Harley Quinn. Or if they're still doing that, right? Um, oh, rat everything catcher. was once cool. good. Uh, I wonder if they have like a new guy, or if they're still doing that, like that Fear thing of like. Weapon. We'll just, you know, do a bunch of people for now. But they're not the only ones you know? who can oh, use I'm sure it. Oh, sure, that's what's going on right now. I don't think there's seven million guys that like, just be the voice of that. Right. Exactly. The Rat King I'm will sure stop at nothing to destroy or my city. How far will I go? To destroy him. You know, I'd kind of be okay with that for a while. It's kind yeah. of what they've been doing with the animated movies, anyways. Right, right. Right now, the, the last couple movies he's in been, the live action movies. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, the last couple animated movies he's been voiced by Jensen Ackles, the guy from uh, when from Supernatural. The falls, the rats oh, this is still the Batman trailer. Okay. Um, <coughs> I see. We're making Ratcatcher the main villain of the. <laughs> Interesting choice. I am looking forward yeah. to heading back to the Arkhamverse. That's kind of Arkham's thing, actually. Now, it is yeah, time to update fans on Joker, a legendary fighting game franchise. The main villain of the second and one. that includes um, me. Because I have been a fan Joker. of this series ever one. since one and of its first iteration and have been playing each one ever Pro. since. So, let's check it out. I'm sorry, Curious Dre, I talked through what you were saying, but it looks like another anime. This looks like another anime. Oh, wait. Oh, it's King of Fighters. No, it's Street Fighter. <laughs> it's Street Fighter 6. So this is a... Oh, Terry. Okay, I was right. It's the guy from King of Fighters. He's coming to Street Fighter 6. That's what's happening. So this is officially Capcom. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait. This is cool. There, is there just a bunch of... King of Fighters characters coming to Street Fighter 6? Or is this a different game? Well, Elena is a Street Fighter character, not a King of Fighters character. Oh. Yeah, Street Fighter 6. That's cool. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> Ooh. Hello there. Are you a bison? Are you an bison? Yes. I've decided yes. Okay. Oh. Mm. A very new look for M. Bison. M. Bison, Terry, Elena, and Mai join the fight in year two. Cool. Please don't make that the only one year after the dragon meteor invasion. Ah, everybody's favorite dragon. The Scots rebel? Whoa. You seen this art style? Ooh. It's a little interesting. Tears of metal. Okay. Wait, what is this? What is this? Is this awesome? <laughs> it looks kind of awesome. Oh, fucking skull. Oh, I thought it said that dude retired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, it's fucking. It's that game you showed me. It's Banner Lord, but if it was looking like this. Right? And took place in Scotland. Speaking of Banner Lord and retired, um, yeah. My sword has the best name in the whole fucking game. Oh, okay. It's called Early Retirement. Oh, nice. The rest of them just have normal ass names. And you didn't name that? No. That's and cool. the rest of them have normal ass names. Like, this is the type of sword that it is. Except that one. I think it's cool. That's funny. Rogue Light. Ooh. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Steam only right now. I'm sure that'll change. Yeah, that, that that's... That's there's been a lot of that today. Well, if it's an indie game, it's really easy to release your game on Steam that and then sense. get it, have it release and be popular, and then get the we'll funding see. to produce it for Budokai Tenkaichi. Not the words I thought we'd hear. Is this a new thing or is this a remake? 
Oh. <laughs> Goku Black. He definitely wouldn't be in a in a remake. Unless we're just adding new characters. Fight as a legend. Or get sent to the back of the space. We gotta keep watching this show. It's uh, well, not enticing me. You no, I mean, one it's just a we will. My friends. No matter yeah. what it takes, I need to risk it. Go. Oh. Goku, wait. wait. What? Damn, I looked at that. <laughs> is it a, is it a different game? Is it a I'm starting to think it's not a fighting game. But Budokai Tenkaichi is a fighting game. And that's what it said at the beginning of the series. Break the heavens. The ultimate Dragon Ball showdown. I doubt it. The Spider Z. Okay. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Why did it not tell us anything? Why did it say Budokai Tenkaichi? There you go, Internet. We got your release date for Sparking Zero, October 11th. Okay. Now we step into the world of Delta Force oh. Hawk Ops, a free-to-play really tactical shooter available to play on press, all platforms. Here's a look at their multiplayer FPS extraction Also, I think mode. it got louder compared to you guys. Okay. Team, rally up. We've got a new mission. This Operation Lightning Strike. Okay. okay. Why the situation at Zero Dam is now very serious. That. The conflict's then. escalating between Havoc Corps and Alsara Guard. It's time to take action. Objection. I wonder what the Collective point of that is. Because, like, I feel like Budokai Tenkaichi is a word that, like, normies would know as well. Mm. Like, and, like, obviously fans of the series will know, like, oh, yes, this is the next one. But why not just call it the... They didn't go, give it go, an go. English title this time and just did a direct translation. Oh, okay. I'm going in. That, hmm. I don't why they would do that. Also, Budokai Tenkaichi is the English name? <laughs> Instead of just giving it a new number for some reason. Yeah, that's odd. But it sounds like they kind of went the everybody's golf route of like, they've always been called this in Japan. Let's just call it this. <laughs> But we'll make it like the first one or whatever. Right. All clear. Prepare for decoding. Um, if we weren't, That's if we hadn't already. That drill is over. Ball Operation commences. Here's one. Good luck. Right. Delta Force Hawk Ops. When was the last time a Call of Duty game came out? But that we just is not, not Call of Duty all. The game's premium campaign mode, Black Hawk Down, uh, is a reimagining of the no, original game. No, no, no. I just mean it's society. also oh, fully I, licensed I, to recreate yeah, yeah. moments from the original. No, there was there was Ridley one that Scott just came movie. out. They're they're yeah. remaking the Modern Warfare is your world premium franchise right now. Oh, okay. They they just did a uh, they just did Modern Warfare three. My my coworker was uh, talking all about it because when we were oh, I was in when I was in Times Square last, there was a big Billboard from Modern Warfare 3. I was like, didn't that game already come out? She was like, no, you fucking idiot. So different. Another trailer for that same game. Or, or, okay, is that what's or a very similar game. All units prepare for landing. Yeah. I mean, I love war shit. I just got sick of it. The issue I have with with down, war. Uh, first person shooters is the same issue I have with zombie games. There's so many of them. done it, yeah. Mm. And like, as cool as this looks, forget the graphics for a second. I've been playing this game since like 2006. When right. The first Call of Duty game. Right, exactly. Why? Why? And now, I have an update for you on Fatal Theory City okay. of the Wolves. But it's, it's kind of the whole thing of like, why would I time. play basically just the same Call of Duty game again when I could play something like Elden Ring, which is like an innovation right. on a already like like if if you were like, oh, Elden Ring's just Dark Souls one, I'd be like, fucking you didn't play the same game I did. But and you know what I mean? So if, if somebody was to say, Well, I love the stories of them. That's no, they don't. Well, sometimes the you. stories can be a bit compelling if you really get into it. Okay. But, but just watch a war movie. But I thought like the, the like if you're really just in it for the for the 
uh, cinematic cutscenes that pro- progress the story along. Yeah. Just watch a war movie. Yeah. Well, yeah, because isn't the whole joke, you know, the whole meme with Call of Duty is that no one buys them for the campaign, they just buy them for the multiplayer? I'm the same freak, same issue with GTA. I love playing the story. Well, people the like games. the story in GTA. Um, right, but, the, but society doesn't buy, like, the mainstream doesn't buy GTA to play the story. Speaking of, there's another franchise, Halo. No, no one, no one buy. I'm, I'm literally that way with Halo. No one buys Halo for the story; they just buy it for the multiplayer. Right. Except this fucker and that guy, probably. The, but I, but the story in Halo is, <laughs> and I, I can't, I literally can't speak on Call of Duty because I've never played it. Um, oh, I'm not. I mean, they're always different. But like, if somebody wants a compelling war story, there's better ways to get it. That's all yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. The story in GTA is actually interesting. Yeah. Call of Duty's, depending on the game, mildly interesting. But that's not what I played on COD 4 back in the day. Right. I'm talking way back in the day. Yeah. Well, I mean, depending on how far back you go, there was no multiplayer. That's what I'm talking about, like COD 2. Yeah, the original PS2 games you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. But you have, like... My dad and sister loved the zombie shit. Oh, okay. So they keep buying them. But it was my understanding that the zombie, the highly popular zombie mode, is not in all of them. No. Or am I wrong about that? Well, it, I don't know anymore, but it used to just be specifically Black Ops. I remember back when I was in high school, the, I feel like the zombie mode had, like, a story to it. Because it wasn't the whole thing, like, you play as famous people. Like, couldn't you play as, like, Buffy that the was Vampire one Slayer or no, Danny Trejo no, or I don't stuff like so. that? No. There was one where you could play as the president. Yeah, I think there's one where you can play as... I think you can play as um, Danny Trejo and Sarah Michelle Gellar and, and, okay. and, like, George Romero and, like, a bunch of, like, you know, relatives. Ooh, it got 3D. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what we're looking at. It, it looks cute. It... You know, they started showing gameplay, and I'm sort of in, instantly uninterested... Sort of looks like every you know, kind of same. Oh wait. Okay, now it looks like Mario Party. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> no. Christ! I this is actually pulling me in for even further. From Battle Crush, Switch, Steam, and Mobile. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Oh. Okay, I get it. I get it. The Gundam Fighter? Uh, yeah, one of one of many that they've been making for a few years, probably. I don't know if this is necessarily like Gundam, the copyright, right? But it's a Gundam game, that's for sure. I mean, they look cool. I'm not gonna lie. Gundam is never interesting. You mean at all, or just the games? I mean, they're cool looking, but I just mean at all. Yeah, I, I'm kind of in the same boat. Oh, it was not Gundam. It's called Mecha Break. Which begs the We're question. We're back here at Summer Game Fest. Gundam, and that was a look at Mecha Break with its immersive no aerial and ground combat into that, with lightning mm, fast maneuvers. That, uh, Next, that Jason market. Blum and his Blumhouse banner have become Blumhouse. synonymous with incredible horror films well, over the years. I like Get Out, Megan, and last year's Blumhouse. Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, nah. now Blumhouse is entering the video game world in a big way. Shit, movie-wise. Mm. Now, here's the thing. If this is going to say Saw the Game, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm good. From the studio, that, oh, all the fucking movies, yeah. Um, like, I'm wondering what IP it is, you right, know? Right, It would be cool if it was totally original concept. I have a feeling it's not going oh. to be. Like, Crisis Theater of Idol. It is. It is a completely unique thing. Ooh, that's creepy. Oh, but then what it's is, wait, fucking what is this? not. Wait, what is this? Oh, wait, what am I... What? Yeah. Oh, this is a different I game completely. Sleep. I no. cannot sleep. What is happening? I must not sleep. Because now we're back to the... 
Oh no, this is. I am terrified to sleep. Yeah, this is this is and a I'm third game. Blumhouse, I see. Blumhouse Games awake. is not developing their. Don't worry, Biv. If any ghost they're, uh, they're show, publishing. So these are four different games. Okay, okay. That they are. Jesus Christ, no could have been a little clearer with this. There, okay, so that second game was like a horror Stardew Valley. Yeah, that looks so cool. I mean, these all kind of look really cool. I was cool. just going to say, they all look pretty need cool. A game designer? What the fuck? Should have some developer mode. Game about making PlayStation One horror games. Sam Barlow, that's the fucking um, that's the fucking uh, uh immortality guy. Dive All his games are way to Okay. Immortality is is free if you have a Netflix account. Um, Langwell thinks uh, he would have been more interested if they were all the same game. That would be fucking. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought they were going for for a second. Yeah, no, see, there's all the developers yeah. of these games. Half Mermaid, isn't that Seven Days to Die? No, sorry. No, Half Mermaid is San Barlow. I got Please my welcome Jason fun Blum, That's Seven Days to Die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Luis Blaine, creative lead at Blumhouse Games. Hello. Are you going to say anything interesting? Or should we... Hey guys, <laughs> we got ourselves a full slate there. That's incredible. So, so Jason, tell us a bit I'm about. I'm gonna pretend uh, like I didn't know that footage. Get into games like right. this. Gonna what be on the doing? screen. I haven't seen well, it already. We've been uh, very, very busy. Um, I'm very happy to be here. Thank oh, you this for is literally us. Bloom. Thank you guys all. Great to hear uh, the fans out there. <laughs> this is literally Jason Bloom. I didn't realize that. That's cool. You'll you'll all be very happy to know we're working at this very minute on the sequel of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's coming. Okay, okay. Don't worry. Anyway, I, horror I is, wasn't. Uh, I wasn't worried either. To my great relief, getting Frankly, I didn't more know and more popular. Our movies are working. It's working on streaming. I mean, it's they didn't make the game, events. right? No, the just, they're talking about, about the movie. Okay. They're talking about a, a sequel to the movie that just came out. To it was the movie was and okay. Apply it to games. I made a lot of money though. See here. We're no, it's, I'm sure it did. Games. I won't see. The We're going to look though. for creators. Why did you see the original? No offense. Just curious. Oh, okay. To be weird and subversive and find the most like the the puppetry and shit actually and put them into really cool. Games. <laughs> it was well, okay. They, they look, they look great. It's a that's really kind diverse, of, um, cool slate. Uh, Luis, tell us a bit about. That's kind of how the games, games are too. You tell us about kind of the overall. Like the first the game was like a well, meme game. From our slate, and then they made like our horror games are a lot like. They, they made the next like three or four games, and by they I mean him. Fear, he made the next three or four games in like a year or so. Maybe you're a fan and then when he made the fifth one, he was like, okay, guys, I'm actually going to try. There's going to be a story. Um, and then he, like, the Jeff, whole thing was like, oh, well, this is canon, but this isn't, and this is, I'm not going to, but oh. the whole, but all his games you know, are like, you have to figure out the lore. It's not going to be so written out for you. I watched the original for Matthew and Lillard, and also it was streaming the same day on Peacock, I think. Yeah, it was. I remember my parents watching the movie, which, once again, I was like, why are you watching this movie? Um, it's based off a game you know um, and I, I and happened to come downstairs during the credits and they were playing that fucking Five Nights at Freddy's Living Tombstone really song to just straight up in the credits and I was just like Really? That song is like projects, actually in this that movie? That's we can take risks. Okay, whatever. You, know, can you could have made your own music. And really as much as I love this song, like, what's possible in scary storytelling. It's just so, we're so excited. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah, no, it, it looks awesome. I can't believe it's like awesome, a meme. Yeah. And the movie is just like, yeah, what if we did all the memes, right? And it's like, okay. Well, yeah, we're on now. We're on PC. But yeah, what I was getting at is Five Nights at Freddy's has never had a good story. And it sounds like it still doesn't. Yeah, we wanted to start with not just one, but we wanted to start with a few games. But it made a lot of money. You want to tell us about that? Yeah, so Fear the Spotlight is and our first uh, release coming later this year, and it really hits our mission statement. It's one of those things it's an amazing where, like, 90s horror experience. usually it wouldn't it's have a lot of competition, a but it absolutely it's isn't the best creepy. video game and movie of 2023 because the Super Mario Brothers movie horror. came out oh, know, and made $300 right? million dollars in one week because of people like us who had to see week one. So I can't believe Matt Patrick. Matt Patrick's in the actual fucking movie. This is just the start, so we'll probably see Matt in the movie? He's not an actor just because he made his career. Career right. making videos about Five Nights Jason at Freddy's. Luis, That's so fucking so much. stupid. Just make summer, a movie Thank based off a thing. Right. You don't have to be like, what if it was all and of the, the, the same as it's always been? Brand new Power Rangers game with Ooh, a retro Okay, everyone feel. shut up about Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay. Is this going to be a fighting game? 
Go back to the beginning. Oh, what kind of team are you? All new action game. Oh, oh it's going to be like that. <laughs> oh, I see. TMNT. Well, and there was games like this for Power Rangers back in the day as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. But, like, I mean, who's developing this? Can we just get a two-in-one game crossover where you can play as these characters, you know, in Team NT and you can play as Team NT <laughs> in this game? Like, why not, right? That would be pretty cool. I mean, it's nothing they haven't crossed before. <gasps> what is this? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Oh, my God. This looks great. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. See, nobody asked for that. That looks cool, though. This. This, this looks yeah. so cool. Rita's Rewind. Okay. So it's literally a time travel thing. Go, go, Power Rangers. It w yeah. But, like, to the Kim Possible. No, it's very similar. Um, is this another Lego game? No, he got up. <laughs> he wasn't Lego shaped anymore. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I really thought he was a Lego man. Oh, why are we watching the beginning of Bambi? Lifeline Game Studios. Thank you for making your logo easy to read. That was sarcasm. Your logo sucks. Just in case you're watching. <laughs> By the way, everyone, top top right of the screen, hashtag Summer Game Fest. Oh, actually, no, fuck the, fuck the joke I was making. Um... Well, there's a link in chat if you want. Um, there's a uh, uh, Lines and Lavender, which is not, you know, a band associated with Thunder and Lightning, uh, but it is Lightning's band, um, is having a follower contest on Instagram. So that link I just posted in chat is going to go right to them. Yeah. Um, not a paid sponsor or anything. Just, you know. But do it. But <laughs> um, you could win a free T-shirt. Uh, that I didn't even know. So cool. Good. Go do that. Make sure everybody follow. The T-shirt is awesome. It's just their logo, but their logo is awesome. Yeah. So go, uh, go follow if you haven't. Like I, like I said, I want to be clear. We're not getting any like, you know, um, like the Lightning and Lambert do not pay for our Lightning Gaming um, to to do this. This game's looking. Um, Dear, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! They really didn't try. What a beautiful game, dear and boy, which comes from <laughs> first time developer <laughs> Jason Houdet in Paris, who started oh that project alone god. in 2020 during the pandemic, and now has a team That's of crazy. eight helping him realize why? his vision with financial aid from the French government and games like that. Or why we do this show, giving first time developers a chance. To oh, show he's you hyping what them up. On. All right, no, next, I'm sure it's a great a game. Wait, that Kingdom title Come is Deliverance 2 so is arriving funny, later this year. This is a first person <laughs> open world action RPG from Warhorse Studios. Here is a brand new look. Okay. It's like, hey, Chris, I just found uh, just Boy plans. and horse. I just found it. Yeah, exactly. I just, yeah, I got Chris, I've been playing this new game. Uh, it's so cool. It's, it's, it's like the old Legend of Zelda Man games, but it's open world and it's. Uh, it's it's you can like craft anything you want. It's called Elf Boy Saves Woman. And then Elf Boy Saves right Female Princess is what it's called. <laughs> These two young fellas, I need to find them. Okay. One's a smart ass smith, and the other's a blue. Oh no, I don't want to do the blacksmithing. You behave like a spoiled brat. I don't How care you about making the swords. Oh. Gentlemen. Praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Our so Father, we're that here there are many sinners when in this world. When those things, the, the fucking in this the thing, end, we all face your are, those are real, right? Oh, yeah. We should have done. What was the point of them? Um, to humiliate you today. in public? The last time I so was it straight up like everything. anything goes? For, for them, like, he, he just had a rock hard in his head, Kids. and clearly oh. that woman wasn't in the wrong, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I mean, depending on the crime, I think, but yeah. Is this retribution for my sins? Weird time, man. This look, I'm kind of digging this, though. It's also just, it also just draws to light, like, the fact that we, we as a, you know, human race thought that public humiliation was a thing, that, like, that's not a thing anymore at all. Um... Come and on. like it feels like it never should have been. It's just such a such a such a decision to be like, I know what we'll do. Their punishment isn't bad enough 
for them to be in jail or hanged. So let's just... Oh, it's Kingdom Come Deliverance, literally. I didn't realize that's what we were looking at. Um... So we'll just embarrass them and humiliate Next, them. Next, we step into the dark mind of Silent them, Hill creator Keiichiro Toyama. The dark minds of Moria? Uh, back in 2021, we announced his new game, Slitterhead, at the Game Awards. And now we're giving you a look at the gameplay from this okay. independent Tokyo-based studio. You know, I like that Jeff is being, uh, other than the Persona thing, which was a bait and switch, um, I like that he's being upfront. Like, when it's, a, yeah. when it's a surprise, he's like, check this out. And when it's something we've already seen, he's like, here's gameplay for a thing we saw <laughs> on this day. At this hour of the of the day, I thought he was shining a light in that <laughs> dude's fucking eyes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. Oh, is that a person? There's in a there? person in the. Oh yeah. Oh oh, it's a dead person. Ooh. Oh. We're doing it like that. Oh, Driver San Francisco style. Resident Evil style. That looks like a thing from Resident Evil, for sure. Oh, it's just one. No, it just keeps going. It's fighting a, the thing from fucking Beetlejuice. Right, right. Oh, my God. But it's... But you don't die, right? Because you just send your, your thing to another person, and then you... Maybe... Oh, this person has, like, weird power stuff. I don't know. This is, this is bizarre. Oh, my God. This game lost me. Not like... I, I just don't know what's going on this anymore. This game never had me. I, I have been confused this whole time. The enemy design is cool. Yeah. Because we're doing, like, a driver San Francisco, like, put your consciousness into like the yellow means he can he did he switched to the other person who has a blood gun yeah this is bizarre he lost his arm oh, but, it's but he didn't this is one of those games where it's like it looks very cool and makes little sense right now i have no oh, we went into a dog i i have no like guesses as to how to control this game it looks like there's way too much stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> the uh, art style of this is really cool, but the gameplay looks super cool. Not super cool. Not super cool. Um, is this Mr. Potato Head GTA? It fucking better be. Is this, that this looks like a game you and I would have made when we fucking make a game on this channel. That's what I call a dramatic entrance. Are you a potato there's a reason head? Why I'm called Killer Bean. It's because I'm good at what I do. Really? Now it's really? first person? Why is that like not first person? Why are you better. a potato head? I used to be an assassin for the oh, shadow. Now it's, um, now it's third person. Now it's Hitman. An international organization powerful enough to shape the world. Um. Until they <laughs> lied to me and tried to I'll kill tell you me. this much. It's definitely got my now, attention. I'm gonna destroy that. Yeah. <laughs> You're the guy star idiot who wants to take down the shadow agency. <laughs> well, it is sure nice to meet you. Before you die. Wonder if you can switch freely between yeah, first and third. Seems like it. But I, I guess right. I mean, but all what over. Their head looks like. Yeah. Okay. I just need to know why they look like this because, like, switch, like Mr. Potato Head's whole thing is switching outfits. They look like the the next door neighbor frog people from Rocco's Modern Life. They made me who um, I I'm am. unfamiliar, but I and believe I will you. Make them pay for it. I literally thought this was gonna be. Oh, it's they're, a fucking they're bean killer bean. Okay. I legitimately thought it was Mr. Potato Head, so but I was I waiting like for like an one. outfit that was killer change bean, a thing because that's their whole thing. Shooter made by another single developer, believe it or not, right here in Los Angeles, Jeff Liu, who previously worked as an animator on movies like The Matrix Reloaded. Um, oh, so fun. It's amazing what's going to happen in this industry. All right, to introduce their brand new game, please welcome from the Game Bakers, a small independent studio in Montpellier, France, Audrey Le Prince and Emmerich Toa. 
Okay. Oh, they're already there. Hello, Hello, Jeff, everyone. I'm very happy to be here. When we created our studio, Emmerich and I, we promised each other to always uh, come up with something new. So after Fury and Haven, we're here to introduce our new game, Cairn, a survival climber. When I was a teenager, uh, my dad prepared an expedition to Mount K2, but half of his team didn't come back. <laughs> and I've always wondered why do alpinists risk their lives in such extreme conditions? This is something we wanted to explore uh, in Cairn. Uh, Cairn is a game about what it takes to go beyond your limits. This guy has you like climb a mountain to reach a resting summit never why am I before. here face. <laughs> And the climbing gameplay is a challenge. Well, you know what he's pissed about. It's very he intense like and realistic. It's she a said place she of was between you and the mountain. Tower over me at this thing. I didn't know. What and what she you're meant. going to see in the trailer the is not heels. conquered scenes. Oh, is that? It's the oh, actual <laughs> climbing gameplay. <laughs> wow, she is very. Uh, yeah, yeah, right yeah. 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 Day of the day. I didn't know. This is a choice. This is an intent. Every bit about what she's got going on. Is an intentional choice. Meanwhile, my dude's just in jeans. Well, that's I think he's <laughs> just like, I feel out of place. Wish we talked about this wardrobe thing before <laughs> we came out. Or, or even even worse, just like a, I told her not to dress like yeah. that. <laughs> we talked about this already. We're still doing it, though. Okay. Okay. This game uh, is not fun so far. I don't, yeah, it, there's definitely an audience for these. I don't love games like this, if this, if we are looking at literally the whole game, um, which maybe we're not. Maybe there, maybe she gets up the mountain and then there's some combat. Not saying there needs to be combat, but. Your legs. Oh, well, dead. Oh. Okay, you're, you're good, you're good, you're good. Calm down. That shit, I would never do this. No. I'll take, don't do that. Yeah, right? Uh, Holy in the fucking shit. Tent. Jesus Christ. Okay, we've, no, no, we're back to climbing. Mm. If the whole game is climbing one mountain, I dig that. Not for me, though. Yeah. Um, if there's more to it, which it doesn't really look like there is, uh, then I'm, I'm interested to see what more there could be. But if it's basically just like a boss rush of mountains, then cool, but I don't think I will. It's that getting over it game. Yeah, exactly. Karen. 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 Yeah, it's getting over it or a uh, difficult game about climbing. Or I think it's one of those games. Annapurna. Ivy Road. These are words. So, oh. From the creators of The Stanley Parable I'm and The Beginner's be Guide. Really? I'm a fighter. I'm meant to be this in This will be their first game in like in combat. 10 plus years. But instead, I'm out here in the middle of the woods. Running a tea shop. So, what does running a tea shop involve? This looks nothing like the two well, games that they mentioned. And I've had to get used to the pretty unique tea machine they've got here. This looks like something None Pauline would like. None of these tasks are like. all that hard. They just take patience. Well, it depends on really how much the of the type. entire game is this. But I'm surviving. You know, like, are we literally looking at the of all of it? Or is this one aspect of it and there's about to be, like, and once that's done, insane combat? In Sometimes they'll they'll do that where it's like, oh, we run a, a, a fucking fantasy bed and breakfast. But in between done, that, I do not like think there's going to be any bench. combat in this game. I think we're looking at this game. And I still hold that this is something Pauline would like. And what's weird they is that I just make feel fucking feel games like this sometimes. Good. Yeah, which I'm is fine. Happy. No, it totally is. I can but stop like, running now. I'm with you. It I can stop. Doesn't doesn't really interest me. I can oh, stop. that's not what I was saying. I was just I saying uh, sometimes games this like this will surprise you where you're like, yeah, I oh, get it. It's a Stardew Valley like, and then all of a sudden there's like crazy intense combat that you're supposed to do in between uh, <laughs> gardening. Oh, or whatever. holy shit! I think you might have been right too. That's what um, Pauline's playing Palia. Yeah. And I do. Th it seems like she just talks to people in that game, and that is the whole game. Wander stop. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what um, Harvestella was. It was like that oh, was one neat stop, little the square of the next game garden game Redden, the where you uh, of the have to make food and stuff. But how do you get resources to make more stuff? You that. fucking grind right, it out in the, the in the anime of dungeons. Damn. A narrative action adventure game that tells the story. Of Haruna, a young woman born with the ability to venture right into the fold, a dimension <laughs> that overlaps her own. 
What a, what a crazy <laughs> view. Turn your thoughts inward and, I and focus on your shade. They make good action Leave figures. Feeling. They also make Pac-Man. Your progress crazy is impressive lately, Aruna. These are incredible. They call yeah, themselves that's what, what Pac-Man is missing. Realism. Is among them <laughs> it's missing human. A, on death. Yeah, it's missing the a gritty. Re it's missing the me Xbox Arcade Mega death? Man game, but <laughs> but for Pac-Man, has lived how for like Pac-Man to do the mercy of the nine. It's time we took control of our own destiny. Right. Oh, it's very like steampunky mm. sort of. It's kind of giving me like um. The setting, at the so very least, Vincent, it's kind of giving me like arcane vibes, looked. where it's like, it's the future, but only Remember some of us are. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like um, uh, the Golden Compass. You don't belong here. How it's like, hyphen, but like the elites exactly have more I'm technology than they, right, let on and stuff like that. Not Golden Compass. It's called the movie's called Golden Compass. The book is called His Dark Materials. That's what it is. Unknown Nine Awakening. Why, 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 is your name, why your name got such a weird name, dog? Mm. Just it's call it like Steampunk Legends or some shit. Or Unknown Nine. Just call it that. Oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, no. Unknown Nine is the... Yeah, you're right. Unknown Nine is evocative, at least. Unknown Nine Awakening is like... And then Awakening is big, but Unknown Nine is tiny. It's, this, it's the same shit with Horizon Zero Dawn. What is the name of your game? Is your name is the name of your game Zero Dawn, and this is the Horizon version? Or is the game called Horizon, and this is the Zero Dawn version? Right. And then when they made the sequel, it was called Horizon Forbidden West instead of Horizon Zero Dawn 2. So it's just like, oh, okay, I guess it was I think the you second got one. Yeah, I think you got your answer. But, there's but no I hear you, though. A subtitle on a new right, game. right, right, right. There's oh. no Ooh, very what? pointy man. Giyama Games. Not familiar with it. Cinematic by a different studio? That's peculiar. So this is not in game at all, even a little. This is just a cinematic. Ah, delusion taken for. Walks into my great I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm just based off this, I'm getting souls vibes, mm. souls like I was vibes. Just thinking that. You know, you know, I love a good indie souls like. Ooh, maybe we're maybe uh. Lies of P DLC could be at this uh, presentation. Fight and that would be cool. That would be cool. There's rumors that uh, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be Peter Pan. Because P. Well, no, because there, there, there was a tease at the end of Lies of P at the very, very end, where it's like the next game probably won't be Pinocchio, it'll probably be something else, and it's looking like the DLC at the very least is gonna be Peter Pan. Okay. This looks really cool, but what's upsetting is they just told me, don't worry about what it looks like. Yeah, this is like this is probably representative of some stuff you can do in the game, but this cinematic wasn't even made by the people who make the game, it seems like. Mm. This is just a, Oh, God. I'll be taking this. That's what you guys did in our last D&D Oh, so. they just ripped the mask off, but it bled still. It's just whoever wears the mask is in charge. Or was he? Did he trick them into? Oh, now it's Darth Vader. <laughs> okay. I love that. Oh my God! That was a Notria of the last song. Oh shit! You recognize that? Yes, yes. Yeah. So this game was supposed to be out already, and it um. All right, we're back here live it, for more it summer game back fest. Its release date the first not, descendant, uh, powered by Unreal Engine to not 5, clash is a with um, the Elden Ring the DLC. Um, oh, okay. But it's it's a it's an Italian it is folklore release, and we're very Dark happy Souls like. That's cool. It um, looks cool. It, it looks really the cool. Date. They uh they uh, a few content creators had like a uh, early access demo um, that they were able to show off. It looks so good, dude. They were they were an advertising it during the. Uh, the streamer awards it was one of them the the few sponsorships QD was able to get so like every other commercial was like no tree the last song and i was like yeah it looks good it looks good um i did not realize that was that i'm, I'm really excited for that game that's the next big like indie souls game that's coming out cool and you know maybe the board isn't indie but non from soft 
this, this is this is looking super generic. I was okay. I'm. Just, we are agreeing, like, without even saying it. Like, <laughs> what the? It's just. It, there's so many games that are just this. Mm -hmm. At least visually speaking. Yeah. I don't give it. Like, you're not enticing me with what you're showing me. Right not, now. not so far. It's just like a button. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot happening. I could care less, though. I, I don't know. There's something not grabbing me. What they you know what the is? You know what it is? I or part of it at least. They're showing all this cool shit. I know nothing about the story that's happening. Yeah. I know nothing. I know nothing about what's happening. The title is just as generic as the footage. I'm not gonna lie. What kind of game are you, though? Like, are you a... That's pretty soon. That's cool. Was that a third-person shooter, or was that something... That oh, looks in the audience awesome. Now, sitting his lap. The first Descendant will be available across PlayStation, yeah. Xbox, and Steam. Wish this <laughs> now like and prepare that. for the release <laughs> on July 2nd. <laughs> and now, the guy the please like, welcome yeah. to oh, she, developers she me? <laughs> oh, shit. game Among Us took the world by storm in a couple game awards. <laughs> From Inner Sloth, here are Victoria Tran and Forrest Willard. Oh, no. Yeah, this is a few uh, too many people coming out and talking. A, a new Among Us game? More Among Us 1? I'm happy What's she's up, excited. What's up, gamers? Nobody, uh, nobody plays Among Us anymore. You can you believe they just also let us Among us be won, on the uh, stage? Like, no chaperones. A bunch of awards like at the Game Awards 2020, even totally though the game fake. came out in 2018. Like, you think they'll let us do that? What would you Among do? Among Us 2? Among Us 3? A trailer ends, Four. right? In oh, Jeff's right. Well, just sitting in turns out we actually have something very real we wanted to present to you all today. Uh, um, there's been so many I think what I would do in recent years, is but I would feign no concern that. but secretly it's love it. time in the industry. <laughs> Some devs don't really I mean, he's still doing deserve, the whole so thing. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, like of course. Armor, maybe an arm around. That's why yeah, we're yeah. Not acknowledging what's happening. Project. But <laughs> an indie game that's just how we wanted to present himself. Offers the kind of deals we would have wanted back in our less popular Among Me days. This is our way of saying thank you to our crewmates, players, peers, by helping some games and devs have the funding and freedom needed to ship their games. And then we all get to play them, which was the real plan. That's, that's I, how it I happens. I really want games. <laughs> Outer Sloth is our passion project and dream for a better, more sustainable industry. We are really excited and incredibly, incredibly nervous <laughs> to reveal it here and yeah. show you the current lineup of games we've managed to fund because of okay, you. so the and don't worry, Jeff. Okay, it has we talked to them a ton of talking world about premieres. it, but it seems like Inner Enjoy. Sloth, <laughs> the developers of Among Us, have made Outer Sloth, which is going to fund other indie games. Yeah, no, this I'm down for. Cool, that's awesome. <laughs> cool, that's, that's gonna be nice. Hell yeah. Hi, I'm Ian from ShapeShot, and you may already Dude, this be is playing cool. our first mm. game. Mars First Logistics. Oh, I love this. We are Trinket what a cool, Studios, that's Battle Shepard Brigade, Wait, and this is real, our card battle RPG, I've heard of. Battle Suit Aces. Oh, it's a new Battle Shepard. We are Studio oh, Any Percent, and we are making the Marsfield Archives a game about building and exploring connections. Hi, we're Midnight Munchies. This is really we just cool. Released the People made Among Us bosses, made a little too much money, and they're like, let's give back to yeah. the industry that we love. I really appreciate hey, that. Hey, I'm Husband, game director at Huscrofts, and this is Rogue Eclipse, our epic spaceflight action robot. I don't know why they picked the girl with Starfighter. the most stage fright in the entire company That was the whole thing. That was all of Inner Sloth. Oh, no shit. That was literally the whole thing. that's funny. So the two of them made Among Us. Yeah, that's cool. And then two years after they released it, it exploded. I'm Eka, creative director of Outer Loop Games. Games, makers of thirsty Body suitors and, and the fucking in our new game, oh oh was it really yeah, i saw yeah, that yeah. too and that's cook funny up tasty dishes for local communities fight off corpos discover new Ooh. dose of recipes and reunite with oh, your strange loved ones for one last meal 
Project Dosa is a game about life, death, love. You're right. And <laughs> <food>. <laughs> On our monitor. That's funny. That's very, very yeah. cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> oh. Back on stage. Thanks, Victoria and Forrest. Those all look fantastic, and I cannot wait to play them. I but same. all of those amazing indie games aren't the only thing coming out of Inner Sloth. Did you know that there's going to be an Among Us TV show? <laughs> oh, I did not. <laughs> Sounds like you did. This I can yes, do there's going to mm. be an Among Us TV show. Check out this sneak peek. I can't wait for Chris Pratt as Red Crewman. <laughs> I did not know this was a thing. Is this Netflix? It looks it's like typically it. Netflix yeah. who does this. Oh, oh no! Gonna be there's no going to be talking, talking in the. There's going to be talking, right? Is he giving you some Rick and Morty vibes? It's just the just music. The way well, I know also the tra like it looks like the opening scene. I don't know. Yes, definitely the music, but also the transitions. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Wow, a lot of voice. Holy shit. Man, I wish we heard one of them. Uh, yeah, they must not be recorded yet. That mm. was a very... Uh, Up next, we, we have are in the golden Sonic age of video game Shadow adaptations, Generation. at least quantity-wise. <laughs> yeah, you could say that again. Oh, I missed it. They're all hype. A definitive greatest hit collection of 3D and 2D levels from Sonic and Shadow's history. Oh. Now it's time for a glimpse of Shadow's Elijah brand new Wood. powers yeah, and, and gameplay Patton from Oswald, the standalone and Ashley Johnson. There was a lot as of names well there. Yeah. As the official release date announcement. So this game, okay, this game, I love this game. Um, this is Sonic. Oh, I thought the trailer bugged out. Sonic Generations. It's a 2006 Xbox 360 game. It's basically like 2D Sonic meets 3D Sonic. So oh, yeah, and yeah. So every every third level. It switches to a different Sonic game. So it's like, these are the Sonic 1 level. These are the Sonic. Okay. But this one is a remake of that, and it's called Sonic and Shadow. So it seems like it's going to have a lot more Shadow content, probably a lot more uh, probably a lot more Sonic Adventure 2-focused content, because that's the one that Shadow is from. But also, there's a video game called Shadow the Hedgehog, which I'm sure will be included in this now. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this. Sun Generations has a lot of naysayers, but I really like it. Oh my god, that this is okay. Oh dude. Yeah, this is looking good. I am excited for this. I'm seeing a nice mix of stuff I'm familiar with and stuff I'm not familiar with. I will become every uh, with this power. Turned into Doctor Strange mm. from <laughs> from in the Multiverse of Madness or whatever it's called. Oh you can get that That's cool. so cool. <laughs> oh my god, that is so cool. Unnecessary and very the cool. The Year of Shadow, <laughs> right? Just like the most movie coming things, in December Sonic the too. Exciting stuff. All right. In the upcoming Ooh. online survival Ooh. game, Dune oh, Awakening from Funcom, I was going to say, Dune would be cool if they comboed that with a, a chain of trailer for the new Sonic set the movie. Stage but the story the player will but experience. No. Let's it was too find good out to be for true. the first time what that is. Sorry. Um, I the don't. Only um, piece I find is a future just in general, I don't care. We just talking about this the other day about Dune. Well, I hate the logo, but I also just sort of don't care. It's just one of my blind spots. Like, I'm sure it's great. Um, obviously, the movies do good. I created the future. Until it created me. in this game? Probably not. It looks like it's... But I see a narrow way. A path that might have been. I mean, maybe she is, though. It just doesn't look like her. Like, I don't know. orders and given birth to a girl. Yeah. Everything yeah, who knows when this takes place. Oh. Dr. Yue exposed before his betrayal. A world where my father lives. House Atreides surviving the Battle of Arakeen. Sardaukar deployed to protect the Spice Melange. Yeah, what's up? A war of assassins spreading oh, across the planet. I want to Fremen feel something. Mm. <laughs> Exterminated. I just, I just really don't. Well, you know, no I, I mean, it's not for us. Deep. You know what I mean? No yeah. Please on I'm sure. No I'm sure someone's hogging out of their mind right now, but 
I, uh, of my visions lead to horror. I'll, you know, take take two of these Except and pass it to the next one. one, as it were. I don't have think the Dune movies. either no, of us have seen the Dune I haven't seen the original. I haven't yeah. seen the remakes. I haven't read the books. I know nothing of Dune. This logo fucking sucks, though. Can we talk about this stupid turn the U four different ways fucking he logo shit logo. that they think they can get away with? It's stupid. I do not Dune mind the logo. It doesn't he say Dune. Dune. It's just a bunch August. of shit. Now it is time to see the announcement of another new game from a brand new development studio. They're like, They're like if, if Star Wars, Wars was, was good, good that's excuse all you. me. <laughs> that's all you, buddy. Excuse me, Mason. I know, I'm not even gonna acknowledge that any further. Oh, they're no. like if Star Wars was good. This you say that has like, can we go into one-on-one -on -one vibes? No, no. Like I mean, he can have his opinion. That's fine. No, I mean like, I mean like a one-on-one -on -one video call, so I can fire you privately. <laughs> no, no. I listen. Listen, he can he can have his Dune opinion. Dune is like Star. If Star Wars was good, it's my understanding that Dune is nothing like Star Wars even at all, other than it being a space setting. But I could be wrong. The issue with that sentiment that I have <laughs> is you're really you're really. Um, I think the friendship. No, no, it's fine. But uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to find a good comparison. You're fighting against the to thing that started the genre you the against something Here's that, David you know, from they came out with a Thanks, couple Jeff. of years ago. And I know Dune's so originally from the 80s, but, like, the they haven't remade everyone. any Star Wars movies, so we don't have a good comparison RTS, that way. As well, as well also, to, to play we devil's really advocate, bring the Dune is a book. Did the book come out pre-Star Wars? Oh, I don't know. Because then we have, you know, the conversation becomes, like, who, who is the inspo so and who is the... Is an action -packed Army versus army game that Mason. has a high emphasis on the strategy. Wow, the, uh, we want to the bring gameplay this type of for this, I, I know you're RTS Star Wars probably saying you're not really paying attention, but my god, the, this is the gameplay of First, the trailer we just we saw. This looks nothing like what I thought it was going to be based on the cinematic. Oh. And what makes Unitex very cool is not only will players be able to define the exact way that they wish to play, but also players will be able to experience an endless uh, possibility of strategies. Second, we want to eliminate the tedious clicks required to play an RTS as much as possible so that players playing this game are experiencing only the fun parts of playing an RTS game. So, if you want to learn more about <laughs> that's Battle such Aces, a or if you want to sign up so for That's so crazy to be like, we know RTSs are soon, typically boring, but what if ours uh, wasn't? Make sure to visit our website <laughs> at playbattleaces.com. Thank you. I don't think we need every developer. Thank to you, come David. Out on stage that was fantastic. All right. 30 seconds. Our next premiere unveils the exciting new destination for a game that Shadow dropped at the what Game Awards last year, The Finals, with its unparalleled description oh. wrapped oh. in the world's most deadly <laughs> game show. <laughs> okay. I mean, now, after JK, dozens of two seasons, we're unveiling where contestants will be okay. going in the all new season <laughs> starting next week. So, on wait a minute. June now, 13th. new question, Lang. Like, do you like Dune or no? Three. Of the finals. Yeah, how deep does that JK go? Do you do you also do you actively dislike uh 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 Dune or do you just recognize the ridiculous <laughs> statement that you made? <laughs> oh no, what is this? I think it's Helldivers 2. I think that's what they were Oh maybe not though. Maybe I'm totally wrong. I thought we were talking about Helldivers. Oh it's the final. I don't care. Ooh. His looks. I like the concept so far. Yeah, of like different weapons from different like. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Professions, it's, but also time periods. It seems like. Yeah, I do appreciate that. Movie-wise, um, Dune was much better done than the prequels and sequels, and about on par with the originals. Okay. Oh, that game's already out. They're, they're, the that was finals season three in Kyoto. All right. Please welcome multiple Game Awards winner and oh, a dazzling see, this is Game Awards many. performer, if I do say so myself, Sam Lake from Remedy. Ooh. You practice that? It. You. You missed it. He. He had a huge. Uh, 
he, he had an entire musical performance at the Game Awards. Oh, okay. And it blew up, and people love it. And that I was, think that's enough. Yeah. Thank you. A reference to that or Hi. whatever. Gotcha. I like you how see, it's just his name. No this game is now attached to the it. Only no, no, no. Way they let oh, me he's Sam Lake. Gotcha, the game is gotcha, called gotcha, Alan Wake. Gotcha. you something exciting. I heard news Lake about and Alan Wake, Wake too. I have it's no clue who this guy is. Yeah. This is the CEO of Remedy or whatever. Gotcha. Your Remedy game. Collection. I know it's just the screens that your they chose to use, but it when it With goes Alan to the, Wake two, the wide so on far, the left, it looks like a giant Alan Wake two sadly mug. Sadly missing. <laughs> well, we are excited to announce physical <laughs> deluxe editions nice. and physical See, <laughs> collector's like editions <laughs> for Alan Wake two. Coming this fall. Okay, so you can lock in your copy. I wasn't with you until right tomorrow. now because, like, Sam Lake is cool and we all love Next, him. We promise. Okay, you he does have something else some to say. Okay, because I was like, really, you're just announcing a deluxe edition for a game we've already right. played. I'm thrilled to introduce you all to Night Springs. Night Springs with the Twilight Zone. It contains oh, three episodes. Yes, that's exactly what it is. There's a Twilight Zone parody in Alan Wake. Playable characters. That, it must be called Night Springs. In oh. I haven't played two yet, and I haven't played Alan Wake one in like got like a decade and a half. Scenarios. It was a chance for us to really go out there, as if we already didn't. <laughs> Night Springs will be playable. Nice. In less than 24 hours. Hell yeah. Tomorrow. Thank that you. That is what that means. <laughs> now, or today. with this Could have been today. world premiere, I invite you to step into Night Dude. Springs. So I wonder if it's, um, we probably talked to it. I wonder if it's a game or if it's DLC for Alan Wake 2. Special place that well, so far it's a movie, but, uh, you know. Existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet, oh, always familiar okay. to us. In He's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is funny, because I wonder if they're parodying... Well, they must be parodying the remake. With, uh, Please, my number one fan. Jordan Peele? Yes. Uh, I was under the impression that nobody watched that and no one cared about it. I know oh, Sean Ashmore. Sean, I'm really happy. Oh, he's in the game. This is gonna get what the fuck? Strange. That was the dude we were just looking That's at. That's the demon from Wait. Who could save the writer and the fairy soul is it like literature all their games in one? Because that was the woman from Control. Sean Ashmore is from Quantum Break. This guy played Iceman in X-Men. Three playable characters. There's the woman from Control. Oh, they're they're using. I have a shotgun. Well, okay. Wait, is that that's a real shotgun? So they're using. Who can ever truly know how deep? The Night Springs expansion. So it's DLC where you play Night the TV Springs. show, and each TV show is like a different remedy IP. That's very cool. Hmm. Amazon games like Jeff Bezos Amazon, <laughs> or so. something different. What am I looking at? Zombies, but for death it might get a pass. Yeah, seems I'm, like I'm not, I'm not judging yet. Let's see what else happens. That's cool. And beautiful paradise. Great. Oh, is this? No. Clash. What's up with the? This is like the fourth game where it's like the guy next to me has a bow and arrow and an axe, and I have a shotgun. <laughs> now well, what about now, upside down pyramid? Now we're in Dune. We should have done. We should have done uh, bingo cards. This is the New Eternum. World Eternum. October fifteenth. Huh. Okay. All right. That's right. Okay. New World New World Eternum will launch on PS5, up. Xbox Series up. X and S, and PC on October fifteenth. And now you can play the he game start to finish as a solo player 
or play well, co-op just and use Crossfire summer as game well. Fest. <laughs> if you're watching SGF on TikTok yeah. Live right now, no, you lose a Jeff. It was called Jeff or Jeff Jeff. Now it's called Summer Jeff Jeff. Bundle for Honkai Star Rail of Stellar Jade from like TikTok game. game Award. And speaking of Honkai Star Rail, HoYoVerse's latest space fantasy RPG just concluded its version 2.3 special program a few hours ago. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. But there's more. A sneak peek at the upcoming ex expedition featuring a beloved Can character up again? who is clearly summer ready games, Jeff. for the forthcoming journey. Summer with game, her brand summer new Jeff one. Fest. <laughs> yeah, I like summer Jeff Fest better. I don't care. <laughs> uh, about what we're seeing. Yeah. Because they're afraid to wake up. Playoverse made Genshin Impact, and then they made like that's a logo to this stream we're watching right now. Basically, yeah. Uh, they made Genshin Impact, and then they essentially made like four different games that were all just what if Genshin Impact was in this setting. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if this one is new or if this is just Honkai Star Rail again, but it's looking pretty similar. Meanwhile, I was under the impression that Genshin Impact is like not done being made. So like, I don't know why, I don't know how many fucking employees Oyoverse has, but I don't know how we can make four games at once. And like that just, you know, maybe they can be a little more professional than this, but that just tells me that like they're gonna prioritize one of them, you know? Mm. Like if Honkai Star Rail does way better than Genshin Impact, then fuck the people who only play Genshin Impact, I guess, because we'll work on this one. Maybe that's not what's happening. I just feel like that's what you invite when you make mm. multiple games at once. I don't love that the hair is like kind of see-through. You see that? No. It was like you could like see through it. I don't, I don't know what else to say. It was weird. Oh, we're not done. I really thought we were. I can't wait for the developer to come out. Oh, that was Hon okay. So that was Honkai Star Rail. Okay. Ooh. What are you? Iron Mace presents. Oh. Ooh. First person. Dark and darker. Okay. Descend into darkness. Oh, wait. Was Dark and Darker not the title of the game? I don't love that the skeletons bleed. Did the skeleton bleed? Yeah. Oh. Why? I don't know. Ooh. Oh, now that they're showing actual gameplay, it looks kind of... I'm kind of whatever about it. Ooh, a bard? That's exciting. Is this a... Uh is this in, like an online medieval like Fortnite almost? Yeah, yeah. Possibly vanquished or perished. Possibly. That might be exactly what we're seeing actually. That was a lich. Oh my god, it was a lich. Very Skyrim. Blood is made in bones, do bones bleed. Blood is made in bones? I didn't know that. I don't think bones would bleed. Well, if you, yeah, I guess it depends. I thought the heart made blood. The heart pumps blood. Oh. It, it regulates blood. Dark, it's just called dark and darker. Bones have uh, bones. There you have it. The unforgiving fantasy inside, FPS so dungeon PvP fresh enough. That's adventure. what I was going to say. Maybe that was now live he was fighting a reanimated Steam skeleton that died Epic moments Game ago. Store hmm. today. Okay, okay. It okay. seems like. Right. Lots of fans are joining us here in person at the YouTube Theater, and we thank I you see. for that. And ahead of the show, four lucky fans were upgraded to our VIP section thanks to the Discover Orange Ticket upgrade. With Discover, you don't have to be a VIP to be treated like Oh, and like there they one. are. All right, so now they were and there's people the who VIP. aren't. Yeah, I was going to say they were upgraded to the VIP Kitsugami section, but they're still behind. Of the goddess. They're still behind uh, seats that are unfilled. Kunitsugami, Path of the Goddess. That's what I said, because it was on the screen. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. This has been shown off before. I don't know if... Oh. So it's going to be like that. Confusing visuals. Intriguing, but confusing. Wangle <laughs> is going to use that in D&D. Oh, 
thought about that before. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Cool. Oh, that's soon. Oh, that was Capcom. Okay. Oh. Oh. You're like a robot. Or an alien? I gotta be honest. A lot of these are not doing it for me. Just not pulling me in. Yeah, I've been saying this for a bit. Um, 2024 is going to be a slow year, for sure. And I think it's honestly this presentation that we're watching right now that is going to determine exactly how slow. Um, Pretty damn slow so far. Well, I, you know. There's been, there's been, I'll say this. There's been quite a few games where I, at this presentation specifically, that I've seen where I'm like, that looks pretty good. I don't think I'll ever buy it though. You know what I mean? There's just a, like, here's where my head's at. Oh, that was Hyper Light Breaker? Oh, that, I don't know if that's what people want from <laughs> the Hyper Light series. That was weird. I'm going to go home and forget half of these, I think. Except maybe what's on the screen right now. Yeah, well, this is Party Animals. I'm assuming this is either Party Animals 2 or this is just a commercial for Party Animals. This game has been out for a while. Honestly, I, I think there's been a pretty good mix so far of things that look whatever and things that look pretty cool. Okay. This game, however, I, I, I'll be the first to admit this game is... Oh, oh, unless this is a sequel to it. That is Garfield, straight up. Was that not... I vaguely saw, but from what I saw... It's is this kind of like Fall Guys? No, oh, this is this like... Is um, oh, that's Mario Kart. Oh, it is just Party Animals. This is not Fall Guys. This is more like, um, um, whatever that fucking game was called. It's called like D Drop. We know you e may have heard the story hey. of the fine people here at M Corp. So we wanted to take this time to dispel gang any beast. It's like game party animals like gang beast. Unfounded rumors and allegations, and reassure you that things here at M Corp and the city of San Amsterdam have never been better. Things are going great here. We have absolutely nothing to hide from the citizens. Everybody here at M Corp loves this town. We think this, this town rules. Why would we hear a town that rules? I can't <laughs> stop thinking about how you're saying we're selling the city for scraps. That makes me sick. That makes my whole family sick to their stomachs. <laughs> my <laughs> wife hasn't been on the toilet for weeks. Because of what you're saying, what about I like what about M Corp's this, doing to this who town, knows what the game lies. he's promoting? You can tell he wrote this. Everyone in M Corp <laughs> is really good. Stop crying! All right, this is business. Look around, pal. This is how business is. What's his run. name again? Now you should have known that when you were hired on, okay? Tim Jack, Robinson. Hey yeah, Zeus, no, that is Brown. not Ugly Sonic. That is Tim. Robinson. That's Ugly Sonic, the voice of Ugly Sonic. Oh no, shit! Yeah, oh, that's funny. Tim okay, Robinson voices that. Ugly Sonic in that's not uh, this, Chip and that's Dale a, Rescue Rangers. That's a father gotcha. and son. Then yes, it that's is. That's actually a home issue. We love it here at M Corp, and we. Yeah, it's from Tim Robinson's. I think you can leave. Anywhere. Um, we'll be here a long Which is basically <laughs> just what this kid is we're watching. Bring Tim Robinson out, you coward. What's the game? What is the what was this? Timecorewebsite.com. Timecorpwebsite.com. Well, uh, it's up to us to find out what All the right. game is. Uh, welcome the M back to Summer Website. Game Fest. And now let's head to Sam oh. Vansterdam for a new look at Skate from EA. Oh, Skate. Hey, Jeff, oh. how you doing, bud? Oh, crap. Some really bad stuff's happening out there. They're going to need a lot of help cleaning that up. That's bad. This was Skate? That was for Skate this whole time? This was a Skate trailer? Okay. At least we're seeing gameplay. Is that person, like... Fortnite a ramp in front I, of him as really he looked like a, as he like was about to jump off of it. I was trying. Oh, they yeah, are. Yeah. It is. Oh, or is this a metaphor for the fact that it's a game that? Oh wait, is that going to be the whole thing? Is this like we're making the game as you play it? I don't know. That's the gimmick. I don't know. Okay, well, cool. I'm not a fan, but I, I know that a lot of people are. 
That's cool. I might get into it. Very exciting that people will finally be able to play skate on console in the near future. Did you play the one back in the day? Our next world premiere is an indie sensation. No, but I mean specifically the skate. Oh, no, no, no. There's over 25 million players worldwide. No, I just meant like a skateboard game. That's right. I'm talking about Power World. I mean, just look at the giant depresso. Cheer this up, is buddy. just for you. The summer Game Fest. Now, here is the first major update announcement. A whole new island is coming. First major. First one. major. Uh, a new island. Fix the first one. Right. You can't fucking. The first major update. A new island. We know you can't. We know you can't. Fucking walk in the other one. Uh, I like the frog. See. I would be oh, that's a Pokemon. I would be excited if this game wasn't still ass. Oh, that's also a Pokemon. That was a mimic. Which yes, yes. Mo first and foremost, yes. But then Pokemon made it. Pokemon. It's so funny to me that there's a mimic Pokemon, but there was always technically mimics in Pokemon with Voltorb. Mm. Um I was very confused because I went. website and it was just selling toilet seats until I checked the link there a couple paragraphs down. Oh, really? Oh. That's actually, so this toilet website you found was actually the skate website. Weird. That's funny. I wonder, I'm curious, does Tim Robinson's involvement in Skate 4 or whatever we're calling it now end with what we just saw or is he going to like show up in the game somewhere? I would love, I mean, People got to take advantage of that dude. If nothing else, <laughs> if we're doing the whole meme shit, he he is one of the biggest memes. I was right. high on the Steam chart. Oh, yeah, so he's the I didn't do shit to, uh, meme. He, like, literally yeah, is a update. meme right now. Yeah. Next up, we've got a big announcement from Valorant. Here's Andy okay. Ho and Anar Gilfeson from the Valorant dev team. Okay. Sure, man. Oh, good. More we're people getting to the, we're, getting to the, we're getting to the. Hey, everyone. We're getting to the. Since 2020, we have been Steve? fortunate to Let's serve players Steve in their pursuit um, of what we we're call to the, the Valorant moment. All the announcements the are about games that are already out portion of the, while all the show. Eyes are on you. And to this Millions I say, and I don't know how this is going to end. the world have earned their own Valorant moments on PC. To this I say, today, why not just have an hour and a half presentation? A whole new group of players. Let's take a look. There's nothing really like. Yeah, I don't know. Down. I didn't even know Riot made that one. Am I dumb? Yeah, Valorant, as far as I can hold, is basically just like, you know, your standard team shooter, like Overwatch or, yeah, uh, Battleborn or whatever. Apex Legends. But your striker thought this game died. It, uh, it is less alive than this trailer is assuming it is, but it's not super like 100% dead or maybe it is and Jeff's just a big fan of it but yeah I know that this game is still still out there doing it that's the only character I know about I think she's the most popular based on gameplay It's just basically the, the Call of Duty conversation again, but for this genre of thing yeah. where it's like, it's like, like, when we really look at the game at its like base mechanics, like how is this different and how is it better than Overwatch? You know, how is it different? How is it better than Apex? You know, if, the, if they really are the all the same sort of video game. Like why, why why should I play this one right and not that was Valorant's the core There's not enough distinguishing gameplay. features. Everything in you some just saw games. was captured that being on said, console. There is one of these controller. games coming out. 
that I am very excited about that does have a distinguishing feature. It's called Marvel XNS Rivals, this and it's going to be this game, Our basically, except you play as Marvel superheroes, and, and you can it's going to be third person, right not first person. And they announced it was going to only be on phones, we are but so it's excited not. They just announced it's going to come to PlayStation. To make sure that Valorant plays great on console. And we hope to see you soon in the limited beta. But before we he's go, excited to here's be the here. head of Valorant I don't know Studio, what's going on with Anna Donnelly. He looked, he, the X just kicked in or something. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, he looks one of my like favorite things about Valorant has new, been seeing the community Steve. build the I don't game know and the sport right along with us. For he the just last seems four so years, we have been on like the most amazing journey. Dream come true. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> world, but, yeah, but you're right. The other guy was drinking too heavily or some shit right before they came out. Seeing the community evolve as new players bring their it was passion just and expression to Valorant you know, has been guy on the, the left, biggest joy of the ride It was so like far. exactly the ready. type so of so attitude I think so I would have if I was making the we hope same you'll join us and video game for the last next. five years. <laughs> <laughs> but you were finally announcing it. Or, you know. No, no, that, no you're right. You're right. I see what you're saying. No, Valorant's been, Valorant's been out for a while. Right. I could not be more excited for Marble Rivals. It looks good, dude. It looks real good. It was looking okay. Like, it was looking like, oh, this is probably good. And then the gameplay demos came out, and it's looking real good. Hell yeah. Like, it's got a lot going for it. The, the specific heroes they picked, the art style. The fact that it's third person and not first person changes a lot. And I think that was probably some pushback from Marvel being like, well, we want the players to see the fucking character they're playing Right, as. right. Well, it kind of kills the the whole purpose if you don't. Yeah. Um, this is, a, I think, a trailer for a Valorant event or something. They're highlighting this one character. Ooh, it'll support crossover play, too. Oh, like, but that's cool. That, I, you know, that makes sense. I didn't know that. That does make sense. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, because I remember way back in the day, that was a big, um, that was a big issue with Overwatch 1, specifically. How it was like, oh, I want to play Overwatch with my friends. Oh, but I bought it on PS4, and they have it on PC. So I guess I won't play it with my friends. Or I'll buy the game a second time. Um... So that's really cool. I think crossplay is exciting to have Riot on console for games with Valorant. Like thanks to the team at thanks to the team at Riot for sharing that with us here at SGF. Our next announcement is a big deal from our friends at DoorDash. Five weeks of deals with Summer of Dash. Okay. What game are they coming? Sign out up for Dash. This Pass is what it was. This is what happened last last time. Fees. Jeff was like, we know you're excited for Final order. Fantasy VII. Now well, DoorDash has a thing a for you. Who is normally co-streaming our shows? Yang Ya, who is also an amazing voice actor, who's been <laughs> oh, in countless here. games such as uh, Like a Dragon and God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> well, next week, Yang is going to be voicing a character in a movie. Inside Out 2, where he plays oh. a fictional Please, video game character, Burn Lance Slash Blade. And we've got your exclusive first look. Check this out. At Inside Out 2? Please no. Welcome. Oh, okay. To it's your a new. Eternal fate. It's a character. For oh, no. This is Inside Out 2. But he's a video game character. Oh, you're Why also is playing here. Him? Yeah, I always oh. thought Riley okay. had a secret crush on him. Uh, I never saw the appeal. I long to be a hero. What are we doing? Oh, I thought we were going to sword fight. Oh, I am a hundred percent. Well, I was going to sword fight. Yeah. Here. I was unfit, worthless. Oh, don't you dare say that! You do not deserve to be thrown away. Uh, one second, Lance. Oh, that Don't you remember his hurt. power move? That might actually hurt. I'm coming for your ass. Oh, yeah, actually, kind of. Uh, YouTube, Twitch, it's hard to tell. These are just uh, webcam no stands totally <laughs> that we're fucking around with. It's not. And we got a second one because we got a second attack. new then nice you mic. Must make your curse your Camera. Gift. What I meant to Shield say. yourself, my friends. Do you think? For I shall set you all free! Anybody. Watch it. This presentation gives a shit about Inside Out 2. Monitor brand in the US, um, that's Samsung why you and I started sword fighting with monitors for <laughs> But do you think anybody, like, what is the... QR code now to get up to who paid Samsung what? Like, when why are we... I don't know. Um, now we're straight into an advertisement. I think we're probably good. I think we're probably good for one more 
uh, a big announcement and then we're done, I think, if I had to guess. Announcements. And yes, Chicken does look a lot like Ken Jung, and today he, um, Chicken is excited to share a new Ken game. Yeah, he he'll really just do anything. Huh? Mm -hmm. Called mm -hmm. Squad Busters. You fight monsters, collect lots of shiny things. I will say, of the mass Singer judges, that's all that matters. Uh, and here he's is definitely the one I put up with the most. Because the other three oops, just like absolutely Kaku suck. Kaku that being said, uh, I've never loved. Kaku this about him what's going mm. on oh it's fucking this shit again who are you i've you seen this trailer i've seen this trailer of forced to me on like twitter I'm and shit the chicken it's got We're chris hemsworth in it and christina ricci I, I drink right out of the carton well, does i don't think you know the hemsworth. definition of fun yeah well, no get off. i am butt naked from the waist down so get out of the fucking bed dude get out of the and bed and that's will arnett longer Tell me about yourself. I, I think I'm an excellent candidate for the, the lumberjack job, is Will because, Arnett. I don't know who the uh, in right 18 is. He is a bridge. He's that, one of the most uh, equitable people I've ever he met. So great yeah. emotionally. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I've pillaged yeah. a few villages. I'm not a lawyer. Okay. Okay. I'm just a lumberjack. I just don't think you're qualified to be an accountant. So. Which is why, I mean, you uh, said it, but I, I did not. Uh, <laughs> I did not need a long version of this trailer mm. of this commercial. I, I hope not. Guys, maybe everything <laughs> yep, is we're there. Like we're doing it. Just got an update for the trailer for wow. Lego Horizon yeah, Adventures yeah, World. Relax. Lego relax. Horizon oh, Adventures World premiere mind. trailer. A lot of words. Oh, this is still going. Oh, yeah. Nobody spot? except Chris Hemsworth <laughs> in this surprises me. But like, what is he doing? Pasta. Jinx. 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 Are you supposed to be a lumberjack? P picking up a paycheck. Ah! Right, yeah. I just I feel like when like A-list celebrities do shit like this, it's what? actually You're kind of damaging to, to the career. <laughs> Dang, right? Like, I feel like that puts a big sign out there that, hey, I, I'm worried I'm not going to get more leave. money. Oh, yeah. The other well, thing, yeah, and it's probably not this. It's probably like a 10% chance that it's yeah. this. But there's all the possibility in the world that Chris on. Hemsworth is just a huge Brawl Stars fan. But you're right. Everyone else, it makes sense. Like, from a, what was I doing, uh, you know, that other week. Other than this, yeah. right. Um, you want me to shut the door? How much money has this game made that they could afford this? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying, question. too. Wait, it's not? This wasn't for Brawl Stars? It's also still not done. It's a game called Squad Busters? Right. I thought this was Brawl Stars. Oh. All right. Please join me in welcoming to the SGF stage Monster Hunter series producer, Mr. Riozo Tujimono. Riozo-san. Hi, thank you, Jay. Oh, Monster Hunter. Uh, ですね。後半にですね、え、関西新規で、え、今回初お披露目をしていただきたいと思います。え、モンスターハンターワイルドは2022年に発売されます。え、モンスターハンターワイルドは2022年に発売されます。え、モンスターハンターワイルドは2022年に発売されます。え、モンスターハンターワイルドは2022年に発売されます。え、モンスターハン
she's just a translator, or do you think she has anything to do with the game? Thank you. Uh, no, I, to answer your question, I'm sure she's just a translator. But also, like, also, I don't, th I don't think she, I don't think she translated shit, because he said a whole sentence, and then she's. I think they were both reading off the script. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm not saying she's not a translator. I'm just saying in that presentation, I think they were both just reading off a script. This is very dude coded. <laughs> you said it, and uh, yeah. Why are you here? You can't do this alone. Oh. Why are you here? There's so many other things that I could have watched. Oh, I know. Okay, we actually got gameplay, which is nice. The one thing the Monster Hunter hasn't done, maybe this is what they're doing, the one thing they haven't done is made, like, a truly open-world Monster Hunter game. So maybe that's what this is. Um, when the verified team shows up, I'll point her out. Okay. Or, or, you know what? I won't point her out, and I want to see if you can tell who everyone's talking about. Oh, okay. It's this trailer, though? It's this game. I don't know if it's this trailer. I haven't okay. seen this footage yet. Well, if she doesn't show up. I'll, yeah. 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 That's what we'll do. We'll wait until the end. I'll reveal if she showed up or not. And if she did, I'll ask for you to pick out. You find someplace safe. Who's did it? Okay. That's got the internet. Uh, right there. Flutter. Yep, there she is. Like there's a big emphasis on mounted gameplay, yeah, which is not typically like the standard. So maybe they're switching it up in that regard as well. There's just so much Monster Hunter, man. Monster Hunter is like the new Assassin's Creed, where it's just like, oh, every year, huh? Sometimes twice a year. All right, I guess. Also, this is Capcom, so that's officially three uh, Capcom uh, trailers that. Uh, that I'm just like whatever about. She did not show up. Okay, <laughs> if it wasn't clear already, she I kind of <laughs> she figured. <laughs> Thank you, Riosa Sun. We will see you at Gamescom in August. He's already gone. Now, during last he year's PlayStation Showcase, the game Phantom Blade Zero from S Game wowed us all with its blazing fast combat and stylish art. Well, I'm honored to share with you the brand new trailer for the game okay. featuring all real I'm, I'm, gameplay. Kind of Here's our final game the of the show, Phantom Blade Zero. Final game Zero. of the show, Phantom Blade Zero, is what Jeff just said. That's great, Jeff. I don't um, I don't love the whole, like, we know that you saw a trailer for this game two weeks ago. Now here's another one. I, I'm not loving that. But, who knows, maybe I'm about to see the, the world's greatest gameplay trailer of all time. How many days do I have left? I'm not gonna lie, so far. The face of this is here. Stuff I've seen in other games. Tell what's so interesting and a little bit frustrating about video games. How like maybe this game is excellent. Have you ever seen somebody hang a horse though? What that was? No, I don't. I don't think so, but it really looks yeah, see, I'm glad they're showing UI. Maybe this game is excellent. Right now, just seeing it and not playing it, it sort of just looks like every other fucking video game I've ever played in my whole life. Um, and I gotta be honest, action, 3D action games like this are sort of really losing me. I bought Final Fantasy 16 day one full price. I played it for maybe two hours. I was just like, this game is not what I want. I'll go back to it eventually, but yeah, I was not impressed. Um, and this game is just looking like more like, like this game is so, like this type of game is so like, like inundated in, in this market where like, if you're not a Souls-like and you're not like completely breaking the mold like God of War or Ghost of Tsushima did, like I'm, I'm gonna talk through your trailer, you know? Mm. I, I just, I don't know. Hands-on experience at these events. The one you're watching. The one you're, yeah, the one you're watching and not at. And that looks others. so good. Full demo that Media will be playing this weekend, so you'll hear much more about that. And that's going to do it for our Summer Game Fest live show.
Thanks to Joy for joining us. Thank you, Jeff. I had such an amazing so time. Happy Summer Games Fest, everyone. Thanks, Joy. And we have so much more, so stay tuned because Day of the Devs is coming up live right now on the stream featuring an hour no, of indie not, game no, reveals. No, no, Jeff, the next no, we're good. You can, from you can have fun. And that's you followed can have by fun the Day of the Devs. Now gonna, keep checking um, summergamefest.com for other event streams this weekend. And we'll out. see you again live this August you, 20th Jeff. in Germany for Gamescom yeah, opening Gamescom, night live. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yep. We're good. I think he just thanked himself. Okay. Bye, Jeff. Oh, what a great screenshot of my main <laughs> man, Jeff. Um, <laughs> Over here. Cool. Well, that was because uh, Jeff always asks on Twitter. I would say that was a solid. Ooh, I already have my number. I'm curious what yours is. Out of um, ten. Out of ten. I was gonna do a letter grade. Oh. Um, because that's how the the production the um presentations are usually okay. graded. So, and I wasn't feeling this at the beginning. I it definitely had a better beginning than it did. And also, feel free to do yours out of ten. You don't have to do a letter grade just because that's what I'm doing. Um, but I'd say that I would give that a solid C plus. Interesting. I think at the beginning, if you were like, what do you think this is going to be? I would have said closer to B plus, but I think I feel good, uh, giving it no more than a C plus. I agree with everything you just said, except I would not give it the plus. I was just going to give it a C. Yeah, okay. Th I see that. I think that's absolutely as, as fair as the one I gave it. Because, like, there wasn't nothing. Yeah. There was some stuff. Like, there was definitely some, it like, was, the Power Rangers it game. It was front-loaded with a bunch of cool It was, stuff. which is frustrating. Because yeah. the, the grade is not just what were the cool games. The grade is how was your presentation as a presentation. Right, um, right. And it was, it was really... Uh, this I didn't appreciate. It was it was very front loaded with a lot of cool stuff um, that you know, fan fan of it or not, you're like, wow, this is neat. And then it was really really back loaded with like, we know that this game has either already announced or already been out for a few right. years, but here's a new trailer for it, including the last. I understand he didn't want to do the fake out like he we've still got has one that more. face. By the way, we're still staring at him <laughs> making that face. I understand that he didn't want to do the like and one more thing, but did the last game really have to be something we've already seen a trailer for? Like, yeah. why wasn't that last game like the the Twilight Zone game or like the 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 p the bean game or something? Like, I I just it's such an odd choice why, to Jeff? be like it's just such an odd choice to me for them to be like. We saw this game announced weeks ago. Here's a second trailer for it, and this is the last thing goodbye. And it's just like, okay, it looks exactly the same as it did the last time you showed it. I just got a little bit more like in-depth glimpse at gameplay. But ultimately, it still looks like the game we saw at the state of play. The state of play was ass. The state of play was a half hour of nothing, and then that Astrobot uh, game got announced. Um, and I'm very excited for that, obviously. But that state of play was like... And also now seeing what we just saw, that state of play was basically pointless. As mm. much as I'm looking forward to Astrobot, um, which I and I really am looking forward to Astrobot, um, that fucking we did not need that state of play. Th and that's I think where the issue with this is. That was cool and probably going to go down in history as necessary. But like, what are they going to show? Like we just saw the PlayStation thing, and that was essentially a bunch of repeats at this thing like i'm now i'm worried for the ubisoft thing and the xbox thing right. we even already know something that we're going to see at the ubisoft thing which is that star wars game where they were like oh here's a really cool trailer uh, you can see more of it at the ubisoft forward and it's like but i'm watching a thing right now i think this is partly an issue of e3 dying i think Everybody wants a little taste of everything yeah. big that's coming out. And so they're going to really piecemeal all the information they would have given us in that week well, yeah, throughout you, the entire s year. No, you're exactly right because I think these developers and these publishers are seeing not only the death of E3 but also the success of the Nintendo Direct format. So they're right. like, oh, we could do that. Meanwhile, here comes Jeff on his you know, knight in shining armor being like, I'll make E3 again, but – Jeff is as cool as Jeff is, as cool as Summer Game Fest is. This is still not E3. So mm -hmm. I feel like there was a bit of decorum of like, 
we could show off Phantom Blade Zero at the PlayStation thing, but we'll wait for E3. Like, because that's the big... But right. now we're in a situation where it's like, no, we're PlayStation. It's our game. We're going to announce it first. You can have a gameplay trailer, sure, but we're also going to announce it. So then you get to people like us watching it who are like, oh, but we already saw that, and this is the last announcement of the show, which I guess is not an important event anymore. And I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. That being said, um, there was absolutely some... Uh, there was some cool stuff there up there. There some highlights for sure. I'm still really, really looking forward to No Tree of the Last Song. Uh, I'm going to be all over that game when it comes out. And uh, has uh, has all the studio closures had any effect on the game reveal show? Oh, or or did, did we just answer that? The, the, the game studio closures are definitely a part of it. I don't know if I want to, like, hard, like, credit this show being, you know, a solid C tier to that. I will definitely credit it being a slow year in games to that. It's partly that and partly last year was like one of the biggest years in games in quite a while. Um uh but um yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like Jeff said at the beginning, we're 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 in a transitional period in this industry, which is odd considering that there's no new game consoles coming out. Right. So right. it's it's a very it's a very unique situation that um, this industry is in. But uh, we're gonna get going. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Our channel is daily uploads from podcast video essays, let's plays to skip. Be sure to watch on Twitch. We stream all our video game and podcast content live at five ESD every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Our intro is by Brad Kendrick and music by Froggy and the Friendship. Link to all that in the description below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.